going live in Sweden. Boop. Boop. Should be good. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Wednesday stream where we do some EDH gameplay. Uh, we are going to be playing a spicy brew that uh, we brewed together on a Sunday stream, last Sunday stream. Uh, as soon as I get the cards for it. What happened to these cards? Did I not buy them? That'd be really awkward if I didn't order these cards and I was waiting this entire time. Uh, buy from card hoarder? Or were they sitting in the cart this entire time? No. No. All right, this will take two seconds. <laughs> I hope. Oh dear. It's fine. They're they're usually very fast with the 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 bot and the stuff. All right, place order. There we go. I got there. All right, like one minute and then we will start games. <laughs> um. Yes, clash on. Hello. <laughs> Stream on, maybe? I don't know. Stream I don't know on, what to... Maybe? I don't know. I don't know what to... Oh, no, no, no. Echo. There he is. Okay, fix that. Okay. Turn all the minion. All right. So what we're playing today is a Jaleva deck, uh, old school commander. I think it was like 2014, 2013 it came out, something like that. Um, it's a design I quite like. A little bit of spell slinger, a little bit of a casting off the top of people's libraries. You know, a little bit of a twist in, in uh, what we're gonna be doing here. So yeah, I'm very excited for it. And we're just gonna be waiting like a minute until card order uh, brings me the cards. Because uh, I made a goof, and I did not grab the cards ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Easy. Look how fast Card Hoarder is. Not to plug them or anything, but Card Hoarder, if you're playing Magic Online and you want to uh, borrow entire Commander decks, um, highly recommend them because it's, uh, it's a really good service. I exclusively experienced Moto through the five tick free loan program. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention. That's a good segue. Uh, Card Hoarder has a promo going on where uh, you could sign up for a free five ticket loan account with them. Uh, tickets are the online currency for Magic Online, where one ticket is equal to $1 US, which doesn't sound like a lot. Usually you need more than $5 to make a, a full commander deck. Uh, a full anything deck of 100 cards, really. But uh, the, the the online currency and the online prices are way different than paper ones, and you can actually make full full decks under the, the five-ticket limit of the free accounts. Uh, so you can like, play a whole bunch of commander decks, uh, just returning them as you get bored of them, boring new ones, all for free uh, with the card hoarder loan account. Uh, we're sponsored, but they don't tell me to do it, to, to do promoting them. I just, I like the, I like the service. I think it's good. <laughs> All right. Uh, promotion over. We shall jump into the game. Um, all right. Well, oh, uh, I need to actually add somebody today. Um, tail. Let me grab your... I need to look at the Google Sheet one sec. Uh, yeah. Spinner Lore, there we go. All right, I'm gonna be adding you. Uh, there, you have been added. I think you might have to add me too. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll find out together. You do, I believe, for whatever. You have to add Dr. Anime, two words. I don't wanna explain it. Love watching these streams during Algebra 2. Awesome, William. Good luck on the Algebra. Huzzah, did it do the thing? It did the thing. Excellent. Game is up, and then we'll, uh, once we're in the game, spend the couple first couple turns, a little introductions, a little what, what's everybody playing today? 
Hey, Malty. Uh, I got into budget commander brewing after watching Regargus game one commander class. That's awesome. Regargus is, is very evil <laughs> on a budget. <laughs> very evil. There we go. I misclicked into the wrong game for a second, but I'm here. Oh, nice. You made it. Oh, Stop. going first Sorry. is nice. All right. The sands. The sand would be really good if I had a second land. So a mall. First mall is free though, which is always nice. This hand is very keepable. All Tons right. of lands. Two lands, two lands, and uh, three mana ramp. Let's hope this works. You always, you always gotta, gotta hope big. Wait, oh, this hand, this hand is actually playable because uh, ah, that's close. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna keep this one. All right, uh, let's let's go around the table and do some quick introductions. So I'll start with you, Joffrey. Um, welcome back to the stream. What what you running today? Uh, just playing some good old group slug, uh, helmed by Lisa, Shroud of Dusk. It's, mm. It is what it is. Uh, just, <laughs> you guys take damage for doing things. I take damage for doing the same things. It, everyone has fun. Everybody takes damage, is what I'm hearing. Generally I'm going speaking. to be taking a bit more damage than everybody else. Let's start with this. Oh. Oh, well. Uh, I guess it's my turn to introduce my deck. Um, yes. I'm hey, playing... Tailspinner. Oh, and welcome to the stream, by the way. This is your first time here. Hey. Finally managed to make it. <laughs> so I'm playing five tick, five ticks Jadzi epic spells. My entire goal is to play Jadzi, play both the green and the blue epic spell, and then hope that wins me the game. We are on a, a, a similar game, uh, game plan, I believe. <laughs> but in a very different way to get to it. I'm either going to combo off wonderfully, or I'm going to die. Hmm. Extremely quick. These are the only two options. <laughs> All right. And then finally, welcome back, Ink. How you doing? <laughs> Today, I had I had a deck all lined up, and then I couldn't sleep, so I was up really early this morning, and I was looking through a random stack of cards on my desk, and I came across Unesh Cryosphinx, and I was like, I've always wanted to build a deck around this card, but I don't really want to make Sphinx tribal. What can I do with it? So I settled on sort of a mono blue Edric strategy, oh. where. Um, I've got a whole bunch of tiny little dorks, and I've got a couple of uh, Maskwood Nexus Arcane Adaptation type effects to make uh, my uh, little dorks into one mana factor fictions. Hmm. And I'm just going to try and, you know, I guess I'm the aggro deck in this table somehow. <laughs> um, yeah. But I'm going to play a bunch, of, a bunch of little guys and hope they draw me a whole bunch of cards. Fair enough. Do I even cast this? I don't, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's cast this. Boop. Oh, I like the card on top. Actually, I don't care about these cards. This is not the, not the week for it. All right, shuffle away. All right, that's fine. <laughs> now you are the aggro player, or maybe not. I mean, Lisa's pretty aggressive, right? That's true. Imagine. They do a lot of damage. Uh, they do a lot in of a damage. manner of speaking, sure. Yeah. That's fair. Yep. Unesh. Love Unesh. Very nice. Yeah, I realized I'd never built a, a mono blue EDH deck. I think I was traumatized at one point by my friend's, Jace friend's Prodigy deck, which was literally just every Jace and then all the counter spells in their collection. And <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, that's... You know, I I wanted a little, something a little bit different out of mono blue. So today yep. we are trying something a little different. Oh, that was a great draw. Could definitely go, be go Audrey Owl. Oh, nice. He sees. Bird staple Audrey Owl. Mm hmm. Bottom. Up. 
Yeah, let me know if uh might still be slightly quiet. Um, I can boost people on my end. I've maxed out I've maxed out uh the audio on my end, but I can boost people beyond. So let me know. I'm gonna oh, wow. boost everybody to like 120. All right, should be good. Uh, let's just do this. Get some ramp in here. Oh yeah, did you give us an intro, Tomer? Oh, uh, not really. Okay, so my 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 uh commander. Ooh, kind of like this card. This card could be fun. Uh, I'll put this. I don't on. like that. Hey. It's, it's, it's fine. Uh, we'll put this on top. Um, my my commander is Jaleva Nefalia Scourge, old school commander. Uh, I don't remember what commander set it came out in, but this is Grixis Spellslinger, and uh, it's also trying to cast an epic spell. It's uh, based, well, it is the backseat brew that we did uh, on this Sunday stream. So it's a two hundred dollar list. Um, that uh, is all about casting Eternal Dominion. And uh, copying it a bunch of times, and, and hopefully winning the game. Uh, but unfortunately, this is like the anti Eternal Dominion table uh, because nobody is running good creatures that I want to take. So um, this will be interesting Aww. to see what, what the deck can do. <laughs> oh, you don't see you don't watch Zephyr sprites. No, or or the person who's also Eternal Dominion and therefore has no creatures. In their in their deck oh, list, you know how I said I was hoping for that third land, yeah. Oh, won't won't won't. Uh oh. Well, it's a good thing your commander doesn't cost eight. <laughs> it only costs Ouch. four. What do you mean? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, tail spinner. Yeah, the backside is also not very good when you don't have any lands to to play. Oh yeah, yeah, just a bit. Yes, just a smidge. A little bit of an oof. All right, let's go with Let's it? go with our secret our secret commander. Oh, nice. Lax. Hey, gra. Right. There you already you already got a little card draw engine going on. Yep. That guy's pretty good. Mhm. Mm yeah. Also a hidden ninjutsu commander. Yes. I can see that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh let's I guess I didn't have to do it this way. Oops. Whatever. Cause this costs only three. Cause the knight's gate familiar is so awesome. And I'm not blocking, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little smack. No, it's super aggro over here. Um, I've been wunned. <laughs> like, if there's ever damage I can do on the table, I'm gonna take it. Uh, miss the intro. How does this deck work? Uh, hopefully, I can show that in the game. Um, but basically, Jalova lets, uh, lets you cast stuff off the top of your libraries for free. Uh, instant sorcerers once she attacks. Um, so that's going to be a major way of, uh, of doing things with her. So I had an Eternal Dominion deck for a while, and I switched from Jaleva to Kess. Do you have any thoughts on which you might prefer? I'm still gonna go with Jaleva just because I really like I like lines of like uh, put put injuring I or eternal dominion on top of your library and then cast it for essentially four mana because you just play your commander give it a haste and outload an attack so that's a six mm -hmm. mana discount I really like that a lot Kess Kess is like I mean it gives you the exact same colors which is really good uh, but she doesn't give that that massive discount on casting the spell that, so. Man. Yeah. I feel like I was, yeah. Sorry, I was mostly ahead. afraid like what would happen this if Eternal Dominion gets countered or winds up in the graveyard somehow. Like 
how how to get it back. So I think that's why I switched to Cass. Hmm. But so actually, this deck actually the second way, the second best way to cast uh, Eternal Dominion is actually putting it in the graveyard, because uh, then you have access to casting it for four mana with Mizzix's Mastery, and if you Overlord it, then you uh, can yes. also like copy you know copy effects as well that you have in the graveyard too so there's like a little bit of a self mill action going on in as well and then the other one the one that is like the super spice um the ultimate Light. is uh mnemonic deluge it's a new relatively new card from commander legends that like you know everybody glossed over what did i do to deserve <laughs> to deserve this but the, the, and then i don't have to pay two mana Oh, the deluge, the deluge is the best one because it's like, um, you. I think it's like nine mana. You cast an instant or sorcery from any graveyard, and you copy it twice, so you cast cast it three times essentially. Um, that is is like the ultimate because it's even better than Jaleva if you have the mana for it. The worst is like if if Jaleva is destroyed before she can attack, that that destroys. Well, that's actually that. what I was gonna say is like that's the one thing I would say about Kess is she's more resilient in the fact that Jaleva can exile it and then be killed. Yeah. And then that's a little awkward. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Like you can't. You have to to wait until people are like tapped out and whatnot. I shouldn't be explaining like my entire <laughs> my entire strategy here, but uh, that's that's we're basically the friends. gist of it. Yeah, we're all, we're all buddies. Um, and it's not like I'm playing a white black control deck or anything. No, no, no. Um, not at all. Not at all. No. Uh, this is all fine. Um, let's. I like this. So I'm still stuck on two lands. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit awkward. Well, if you can play a creature yeah. which probably isn't in your deck, I will be glad to pass it for you. Lovely. Mm. I have exactly one creature, and it is two mana, so. Does it get a land on its own? No. <laughs> but it does get me to three mana. What is now? Bleh. Hmm. There we go. Oh, the artist gets a little bit beefier. I like it. I'll just I'll just do a one smack. I won't, I won't get into no. the no artist smacks. I've been smacketed. Okay. Oh, got rousing refrain. Mhm. Mm okay. It's like a budget just goes well. <laughs> yes. Did you know just goes well is like twenty five dollars now? Absolutely. Yeah, you, I, I looked it up the other day. It yeah. Oh, it is a lot. It's a, it's a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it was like repr it's, it was. It's so it's, good though. Yeah, it's. It, I mean, yep. it, it makes sense why it's so expensive. But it's just funny though. It's like it came out like, it came out like late last year. With Commander Legends and it's already pretty pretty nasty. Yeah, I feel like that was a card that was a little bit slept on for the first, I don't know, few weeks, maybe month or so that it was out. But mm -hmm. once people started casting it, um, like, ah, oh, yes, this is good. Yes, yeah. it, it, it's it pretty decent. <laughs> apparent why that card is great. Um, I I picked up a place that pretty early on when Commander Legends came out. Like I usually wait a, a month until until I start buying my thing. I'm like, you know what, this, this card will probably show up in my red deck, so I'm just. I bought a playset just in case, and I use I use two and I have two just. Praise be to the magic gods. Wait. Mm -hmm. Oh. I have a forest. Congrats. Now, now to pop off. <laughs> now to cast my cultivate. Yeah. Two. Ow. Hey. Well, that'll get you also to number four. The fourth Huzzah. line or fifth line drop, I guess. Uh, that. Mm, that. I suppose. Hey brother, <laughs> brother, uh, good to catch your sub. I don't really play casual ADH, but I enjoy watching it. I'm glad, I'm glad you're here and you're enjoying it. 
Good afternoon, Jason. All right, this is... So when I think Unish, I usually think Sphinxes, but this is this feels like... This is definitely Edric. This is definitely the Edric vibes I'm getting. This is the Edric part. Yep. Once yeah. I draw an arcane adaptation and all of these things become Sphinxes. Oh my god. <laughs> then the then it becomes really value starts. town. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> Do you right. even need arcane adaptation at this point? Hey, yeah, um, board wipe maybe? Need is a strong word. But... I don't have a board wipe in hand. I was kind of Disc. hoping... Well, I was kind of expecting Lisa to offer to, to wipe the board. So, but I mean, yeah. ghostly prison is a really good removal spell. Yeah, yeah. You know what? That's true. Yeah. Yep. And kids still Sounds trying. about right. Five cards, six cards, seven cards, seven, seven cards. cards. Seven but cards. I, I feel like that his cards are probably more one mana one one flyers. That's true. I mean, that's pretty okay. <laughs> They're not great cards, but. They will be. I will always, yes. Always, um, yeah. Always, yes. How do we do? So the crew comes at consensus on two lane plus cultivates, opening hands. Personally, I hold on to those. But um, I think yeah. it, it also depends on how many lands you're running in your own deck, too. I'm running something like 38, 39. Yeah, I would, I would hold. Including if you, MDFTs. Yeah, if you had two lands and a cultivate in your opener, I, I would, had, I, would keep I it. had two lands, a cultivate, and a harrow. Yeah, I would keep it. Well, especially because, like, if you're honestly, if you're not playing enough lands that you're not likely to draw that third land, you're not playing enough lands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, realistically, it should be an okay keep with three turn cycles of drawing cards. And then it took five. <laughs> Sometimes we roll them roll, uh, low rolls. Yep. <laughs> you must pay the two. I did. I'm not happy about it, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I could have attacked, but whatever. I can regenerate now. Who? Sounds like a commander class podcast keeper mall. I guess, but I feel like I feel like that's not even a debate. Like, well, maybe it would be more of a presentation. I feel like like we could just math it out, right? Like there has to Probably. be an objectively correct correct uh, formula on it, or not objectively, but like you know, if if you consider like seventy five percent of the time you're going to be fine, and and you consider that an acceptable percentage. But you can math it out to to an extent, and then the question would be like, what what's an acceptable range? So maybe maybe that would be something to to do on a podcast. We're gonna be recording one on no, next Friday. Players can cast spells from graveyards or activate abilities of cards in graveyards. Ugh. Okay. You attacked me last turn and this turn. Well, you see, hey, but 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 what did I do? Uh, I'm just getting you nice and nice and squishy, so uh, I could don't have to worry about it later. <laughs> I have to so I have and to like one uh, of these one mana one one flyers. How back. would you start getting a Joffrey over there instead of like? Well, he could he could do me for <laughs> four if he wants to spend all his mana. It's true. I'll take it. I'm at forty nine, but. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Now, if I cast this, what is the chance of it actually surviving until my next turn? That entirely depends. Yeah, that depends on the card. Say, 
say hypothetically I played an arcane melee, what do you think is the chance of me actually being able to benefit from said arcane melee? That's the one that reduces the cost of instants and sorceries by two? Mm -hmm. Yes, but it's symmetrical. For everybody? Yeah. I mean, that sounds spooky, but whatever. <laughs> Hmm. You know what? No. I think I'm just going to pass my turn. Interesting. Leave up some Aetherized mana. <laughs> Seth has the power of enemy suicide, that doesn't count. Seth replaces lands with MDFCs, and then he gets sad that he's like casting turn two spells on turn four or whatever. I don't know. I like MDFCs, it's not, not to the same extent. I mean, I think I'm playing all the ones cheap enough that I can do it in my five ticks budget, but. <laughs> Yeah. But, like, I don't know. I don't in budget lists, though, a lot of them are really, really decent. Mm, yep. I don't know. There, there's there's a lot that are just, like, I don't care about this effect. I don't care about Oh, yeah, I'm not going to play Baleen Whale or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or it's just, like, sometimes I'm just, like, I'd rather, like, a bad bad MDC or an island. I'd rather just have the land that enters the battlefield untapped. And, you know, you can add, like, basic synergies, too. Like, you can get it out of Cultivate or whatever. Whereas I'm doing because you can't. But we did have a podcast on that, so. I feel like one of the ones I'm more on, like, the fence on would be something like uh, the five-mana Threaten. Hmm. Like, that one is medium, like, really medium. But there's times where that can easily win you the game. And it's just a land slot. Like, it's a tapped land, sure, but I think that upside's fine. But, like, yeah, Baleen Whale, yeah. stuff like that, that's the not good. That is the quite bad. Correct. Yeah, I'll take my beats. I'm only drawing five cards? Six cards? I could have drawn even more of Dog Owl. It's true. Giving us some prime real estate over there. At some point, I'm going to have to actually cast more spells, though, and I'm a little bit worried about this, Lisa. Don't make me for two. Yep. And for five. Oh, my God. And for five. <laughs> yeah, I'll just draw my seven. Just a measly seven. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Blah. Not a lot of yield to that. That seems fine. Can't wait to go back to Kamigawa. Yes, I'm excited for Kamigawa. Neon Dynasty seems very very sweet. happy. Yeah, I'm just I really would like to see Ninjutsu come back because that's like one of my all time favorite mechanics. Speaking of uh, Kamigawa, did you see the new uh, secret layer with Toshiro? I did, um, and Ooh, I like it. I might pick up a copy, but. It won't replace the one that I have right now. It would probably be just like somebody mentioned they had a cool idea where if they have like two cool copies of a commander they like, they put it in like a clear sleeve on and then they could flip it on either end. And that's kind of what I would mm -hmm. be doing. I, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Because I don't know. The original one in foil, I don't know if it picks up on the camera really well. But I really like it. <laughs> no, I have one myself. He's uh, when Tiny Leaders was a, a format for about three weeks. Uh, that was who my Tiny Leader was. <laughs> He's so good. Hmm. It's just good in general. I just I have nostalgia back from when I was like fourteen playing with him. You know. Yeah. Love nickname Toshiro Toshi. Toshi is his name or his nickname in the books. So that would be very accurate. Oh, 
least a chunking away. <laughs> Yeah. Not enough cards. Just yeah, what what is enough. this chart of course? What is nonsense? <laughs> chart of cards this turn. Oh man. I wanna I wanna hit my arcane adaptation so I can turn these into sphinxes. Yeah, those flying men really hit I different will... when they cost you life. Oof. Well that seems okay. Yeah, I'll take two more for that. Sure. Jeez. Go Whenever on. you attack with two more, oh my god. All right. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. Okay. All right. I'll take two as well. Why not? Well, I'll take two. Yep. Uh, draw four. All right. Well, super psycho. Well, loot, loot four. Yeah. The copy effect. No. <laughs> Harrow. Uh <-oh. laughs> Everyone takes their taxes. Mm. All right. Oh, speaking of secret layers, I also love those ugly-looking planeswalkers, the old ones. <laughs> they're, they're wonderful. Uh, <laughs> those those definitely have certain appeal. That, that's what I like about secret layers. Is like, ninety-nine percent of them is like whatever to me. But there's always one person who one of the secret layers are going to really, really be exciting for, which is nice. Like that one, I don't. Those are basically textless to me, right? They're very cute, though. Yeah, right? Cool. Yeah, you can't like you can't actually read them. <laughs> you can't read uh, them, but it's very cute. Um, right, and, uh, and they're valuable uh, enough that it's nice too. That's me. <laughs> I'd like to gain some life, please. Wow! That is storm. Wow, right. that is that's a high value web of the storm. It's eighteen life, and slightly unexpected. Wait, not eighteen. Uh, I need to stay alive somehow. No, no, I definitely, I, I agree. With I'm very glad uh, Lisa doesn't uh, trigger on copy. No, 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 no. She would have to be printed uh, within the past three or four months since uh, the mage school yep. for her to do that. <laughs> uh, Paladin, this is like the worst case table scenario for the deck, so I wouldn't expect much. <laughs> Yep, pretty much. And I would like to ramp some more next turn. <laughs> um, yeah, if we get a game two, I'll switch it up to something that will maybe have some creatures in it. Well, I mean, it's 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 also like that's how it works sometimes. Is uh, sometimes you don't have yeah. good matchups, so especially when your deck's based around a bribery. Bribery effect, yeah. <laughs> Steal it yep. from the person who's playing one drops, okay. Stealing it from the person who has no creatures in the deck and is doing the same thing, okay. And then maybe Lisa has some good stuff, I'm not sure. Uh, I have a Grave Titan, he's a pretty cool guy. Uh, and I have an 8-8, eight -eight, because you don't care about drawing cards when you yeah, play those. Yeah. <laughs> Villas, Villas is good. I don't think any of those will go the, the distance, unfortunately. Uh, Villas is a removal spell, kind of, for your black man, at least. Mm -hmm. I've got a secondary deck that I'd like to bust out if we go to a second game. Usually we do. We Usually we have enough time for a game, too, so we'll see. Yeah. We shall see. I finished tweaking the list for, I think, like a Carter deck I put together. I think yesterday, so. I'll probably switch to that if we go to game two. Oh, everything's so painful. All right, let's do it. <laughs> let's scour. Do I even copy this? Another one. Hmm. Maybe one, two, three. I mean, I guess. I never copied anything with Melitus Charlatan before, so that's kind of. Kind of in and itself is very exciting to me. 
and like you get a remade out of it. Yeah, I mean, it works with the Storm Killed uh, artist too. That card's so good. Yeah, so it's like he paid just two mana instead yep. of three. All right, let's go. Even better, you get to save those manas for later. I see. I mean, or you could spend them and smack Joffrey for five. He could, but they get, that guy gets smaller when he spends those treasures. Fair enough. Oh. <laughs> He's not going to live. All right, we'll put this bottom. Put... Our all pop abilities was free. God. On top. Mm -hmm. I think we're just going to hang out. Hang out for a little bit. Now we're heading back to Kamigawa. I'm excited for a potential return to Lorwyn. I would like to see Lorwyn again. That had like a lot of the aesthetic that I really enjoyed. I really like Lorwyn as a setting. I'm not sure what they would do to shake it up, though. I think it was poorly received the first time around, and uh, they did change up the plane a lot. So they would have to they would have to shake things up like they would with Kamigawa. So I'm not sure how they would do it, though. I'm very glad we're going back to Kamigawa. I've always liked the aesthetic of it. Yeah. Well, the aesthetic's going to be pretty different. Well, it's, yeah. It's gonna be... <laughs> uh, yeah. It's going to be full cyberpunk. Yeah, but it's cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the only reason that Mara got it even approved. It's because it's not going to be anything like the last time. Yeah, apparently um, they said Hopefully their research... Hopefully it'll have better cards. Yeah, they said their research didn't... Um didn't look too kindly on it the first time around like apparently people didn't uh really like the whole spirits and kami aspect well, of the original well it's awkward too because they like they can say that it's because of that but it's mostly because each set had a different mechanic and so it was very parasitic within a block which was disgusting there was a lot a lot negative going for it at the beginning it was also it's also a power down oh. set like they right, had an overpowered Mir Mirrodin set, and not too long before that, they also had like Urza's block and everything. So they really wanted to power down um, Standard, and so they powered down Kamigawa intentionally for that. So that's already like a bad oh, business decision usually. Because one like, of my favorite things to do it. is like one of the most popular mechanics in the block was Ninjutsu, and they only put it in the middle set. <laughs> And ninjutsu, I feel I that that's also like the biggest thing that I feel like was was like the biggest waste was I feel like ninjutsu should have been an evergreen mechanic, like they named it ninjutsu, which I mean it's it fits, it's very flavorful and it fits ninjas and like what you expect ninjas to do in a game, but I just love the mechanic. It's just so cool. It like promotes attacking. It promotes creature combat, which are just good things to have in magic in general. It promotes yeah. evasiveness, which I love, and then it lets you like reuse enter the battlefield and leave the battlefield triggers. It's just really cool. And then the fact that like you know it, they they made it in Kamigawa and it didn't do well, so they never did it again. And we had to wait like a, over a decade until we got like Modern Horizons to 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 do a couple more of them. That Don't that forget. stung a little. <laughs> Don't forget that their idea for Samurai's mechanic was, hey, you remember how everyone loved Rampage? Oh, God. Let's have that, but worse. That's that's a mechanic yep. I'm I'm I definitely uh, could live with without seeing Bushido come back. If we Please have to get no. anything returning back, I would say Bushido would be on the last on the list. <laughs> oh, Bushido's so bad. <laughs> You'd rather have Bushido. You'd rather have Soul Shift before Bushido. Yeah, Soul I'd Shift rather is a fine Shift. mechanic. It's just the cards were bad. Like, the actual mechanic itself is pretty nice. It worked just in limited, but it was just like, yeah, it's not. It's a little bit of a depowered 
mechanic. But it's at least like Bushido is actively bad. Like it made games worse because it, it de incentivized attacking and blocking. Well, which was I guess you're... lame. <laughs> Here would be my oh, point yeah. is the fact that like uh, oh. you can you can print a card that has Soul Shift's literal wording, and if it had the right cost and effect, it would be really good. Whereas Bushido would have to have like an absurdly high Bushido for it to be valuable. Yeah. Yep. So Soul Shift was just on bad cards. Bushido is a bad mechanic. Fair enough. What you gonna do with that ink? What are you gonna name? We did it. Ah. <laughs> Boys, All he's right. done the thing. I've done the thing. Now let's get Nash out here and go to 18. Just Ooh. going for hey. it. I appreciate you for that. You um, still have another solid I, nine I get spells. board wipes, it's okay. My hand is full of one mana one ones. No, I just want... I just want some treasure. Oh no! <laughs> Six of them, actually. Uh, Got him. Okay. I, I, I didn't counter your arcane adaptation. I appreciate that. <laughs> but there are two other arcane adaptations <laughs> and only one Sphinx. Uh, um, yes, that will go back to the command. List. I've never wanted a lapse of certainty more so that I could lapse Unesh. Yep. But. It is what it is. Bring back Bushido paired with Banning? No. <laughs> I think Bushido would only work if you had to merge it with Provoke, which is a mechanic I wish they brought back. Provoke is super sweet. I think it, it, it forced, basically it forced opponents to block your creatures, which led to cool things. And I think it untapped them too? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they untapped them as well. Maybe I'm misremembering. But it was really sweet. I liked it a lot. Oh no, I'm getting attacked. Hank, you have 14 cards. 15 cards. I got a couple cards. <laughs> a few. Some, you know. A handful. An amount. He's coming for the brain Radiant's needs. Been sweet, yeah. Bushido was yep. improved flanking. Ugh. <laughs> uh, kinda, yeah. It was, yeah. it was more. It was more made more sense than flanking, but it was the same general idea. They're both bad. <laughs> you take flanking me. and rampage and Bushido and just leave them in the past. That's how I'm going. What always for gets it. me. It comes up every now and then in Popper is that if the blacking creature has flanking, it doesn't do anything. Right. Flank, flanking has to... Uh, it, it, it only works if the blocking creature doesn't have flanking. So sometimes you just like think you've got this really good attack and swing in, and they're like, actually, my Sidewinder sliver is like, no! Uh, oh, whoa! I could get 16 mana? Oh yeah! Don't mind if I do. I forgot rousing refrain was happening. The yeah. the only downside here is that I literally don't have anything to cast. <laughs> uh, you have Jaleva. I have Jaleva, but I don't have haste. That is true. So that's not happening. Oh man! It'll all be back. Uh, you could just. Fireball me, I guess. That would kill me. If he had one. I mean, I could swing for 11, but you correctly have blockers. I um, do have the blockers. I mean, I, I, this does get me hit, but you do have 16 mana that you'd have nothing to spend on. You could attack me. <laughs> I could hit you, but there's... I know He's at 51. A... <laughs> yeah, I think I think the, pl the play here is to, to, to cast this and and, and loot a little bit. <laughs> Find something to do. All right. Lose two. Well, all right. Spam that, that loot button. All right. Uh... Draw and discard. <laughs> 
Oh, I okay. forgot that doesn't require him to tap. The old guild mages are so good. Yep. Um. We could Mystic Retrieval get back Painful Truth and just like completely destroy my my life total. Ooh, ooh! I can. I didn't realize I had this. One. All right, all right. We can we can scour the possibilities, can't I? I mean. You sure do wish oh, you could. Ashes oh, of Ashes of the Abhorrent. <laughs> That's what? just mean. Aw, oh, man. Hey, it's and not Rest in Beast. Not. You can look at the cards in your graveyard. Maybe I can attack. Maybe I will attack you. He's preventing your card draw, Tomer. He can't stand to have that. I was going to copy it as well. Oh, I know what you're doing. I was just going to let you find out yourself. We got rid of this. <laughs> let's, just, let's just keep going. <laughs> uh... Let's just always yield to that. And the dwarf slowly shrinks. Hmm. I could, I could wipe my creatures, but that would be sad. Damn it. Do it. I mean, I'd be completely honest. I'd be all right with it, whatever. <laughs> I know, that's the problem. Because you just recast it on your turn and you'd be fine. Ooh, that's a good card. See, the issue I have is that uh, I can't, I can't, even if I get my commander down, I can't, like, cast much before Liza sort of just kills me, which is a small issue. I think that's probably I... my favorite thing about her as a commander is, like, she's so unassuming, but she's so, like, secretly aggressive, like... Tomer kind of mentioned earlier, the deck is kind of aggressive. It's just like it makes the games faster, which I appreciate, especially on Moto. Mm -hmm. And it disincentivizes stalling, like people just jurtling and doing all that jazz. Like it, it's really not as beneficial as you're gonna just bleed yourself dry. There we go. Oh, you're getting the nightscape familiar too. Tell me where he's busy. <laughs> I'm at 14. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm basically very gotta, close to dead. And I feel like I'm It's a little bit. It's a little bit rough here. You have exactly one card, maybe two in your colors that deal with enchantments, though. I mean, my deck has answers, but uh, I'm. I'm kind of pressed on on the time to find them. Fair. And then all the things I have to do just to do what the deck wants to do afterwards, right? Right. It's, uh, it's a little bit rough. Aha! Uh -huh. Hedron Archive. Okay. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That sure is six mana draw two cards. Excellent. Great card. Hmm. That's interesting. I could hear the pain. <laughs> no, paying six mana to draw two cards is fantastic. What do you mean?
I mean, you don't need you don't need feed the swarm or cast warp to get rid of enchantments in blue. I have ways of just yeah, true. It. True. And if you do it on your turn, and you just you'd only need it for gone for a turn anyways. Exactly. No, it was more a response to somebody was saying like, no, oh. in my deck, my deck doesn't have it. I cut them. I don't care. It was a hard choice cause, uh, between that and Nivix Guild Mage, but I don't know. Guild Mage is more easily killable. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Lo and behold, Greg was not getting the job then. I mean, Ow. you gotta understand, Robert. That sometimes there's, there's tables where it's a very bad matchup. Like, I don't, I don't know if you played this game called Commander before, but uh, sometimes the the meta isn't good for what you brought. That's all. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes you bring a graveyard deck, and somebody does turn to rest in peace and. Uh, so when he plays a torpor orb, so you can't wreck sage afterwards. And it happens. When you doesn't cry. Mean your deck, doesn't mean your deck sucks. It just means uh, you got got. Sometimes you just get got. Exactly. Variance is a thing. I think my favorite part about Tomer's deck, though, is that if he does succeed in doing the thing, he's just stealing a creature every turn. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe like two or three. Well, I mean, with Twinning Staff, Nivik Skilled Mage, and Maladus Charlton, and so that's the plan, is to copy it a bunch of times. But the, the main issue is that there's nothing to steal from your gra- from your deck. Oh, yeah. So like, <laughs> I'm going to take, all... take a Grave Titan, and then uh, that's it. Right. And doesn't it also get artifacts, though, or is it just creatures? It is gets it artifacts, artifacts, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, that could, make, that could be nice for someone else's deck. I don't know. It could be. You can get my Ankh of Mishra. <laughs> I would like to solve the equation. Should I play Golos? I would rather not. Ow. Every Golos deck I've ever seen has always been too good. Yeah, I feel like if you're trying to go for a meme strategy, like running Golos kind of like poisons the well in that. I've seen, yeah, like, you, uh, they will, I think you guys have said it on a previous Clash or whatever, like, even if you're playing, like, the most memest of meme ones, like, it's still just the card's very good. Yeah. Like, even oh, if you're playing right, Scout yes. Tribal, like, yeah, he's still did great. Yeah, destroy us with Scout Tribal one time. And I was like, well, it turns out, if you play, <laughs> if you play like, multiple Scouts for free every single turn, uh, draw, effectively drawing and casting them for free every single turn, uh, eventually, you just outvalue your table. One well, also, let's not uh, hesitate to say how good a uh, slightly better um, solemn simulacrum is in your command zone, just in general. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like that's just very nice, especially because he gets any land instead of a basic. But even just like a, a legendary four mana, like it was like a four mana four four solemn, like it was just the same stuff. People would play that as a commander, especially if it was five color. Like it's just. He's just too good. Yeah, the the floor on that I is very think it... high. Yep, might just be this. Hello. Ether eyes. <laughs> what if you like? Don't attack me. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Trust In me. a way, I always get my. I'm beard. killing myself. <laughs> Fast enough. So no, nobody has any way of dealing with this ghostly prison, huh? <laughs> Not my hand. <laughs> I think and, and an even there's, there's, a, there's a bounce spell or two in my deck. I just haven't found it yet. Um, sets. Oh, sorry. Oh, yield until. There. Okay. Cool. So oh, glad yield and full buttons are a thing now. So glad. In a slightly more silly way with this ghostly prison, I kind of just feel like uh, when Seth just set down Karth and the Liliana, like, oh, I guess this is good. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> it doesn't seem like it should be, uh, but it is. Yeah. So, it turns out, I can't read. That seems like a problem on this type oh, of game. Oh, the Mystic Sanctuary? Oof. Wah, wah, wah. Farseek does not say untapped. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Whoops. That is a true statement, I suppose. <laughs> Okay. Found an answer to that ghostly prison yet? Uh, He's drawn many cards. I do have a lot of cards. I don't think any of them quite do it. <laughs> How many of them are birds? <laughs> I'm going to have to scroll a little bit to let you know. <laughs> um... It might be a might be a bird or two. Um, so actually, they are in fact sphinxes. So let's do. Uh? That's a pretty good one. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. That's why it's plus four, Oops, plus sorry. four for my sphinxes. But what if you don't hit me? What um what would you have to offer in return? <laughs> well, I has either eyes in hand, so I mean I have an either eyes. Please don't yeah, make me I wasn't, use it. I wasn't planning on attacking I wasn't planning on attacking you. Ah, good. <laughs> this is fine. Let's do uh, no, maybe I don't want to cast that. I want to cast my spells, but I don't, I don't want to take damage. How... Well, that seems to I be the crux. I don't know. Well, it'll be difficult in this situation. That is the problem. See, the issue is, I would like to get some stuff from the top of my deck. But I'm going to very, very quickly kill myself. And everybody has flies. And Lisa's very good. Problem is, like, you can kill Lisa, and then Lisa just comes back for the same amount of mana again. I know. Yep. She's so nice. Yeah. It's true. Tomer, do you have anything to offer to this? <laughs> help? Can you, can you help us out? Um, like, if the how? If the ghostly prison wasn't there... Well, if the ghostly prison wasn't there, for instance, I could be attacking Joffrey for a lot of damage in the upcoming oh, yeah, yeah. turns. I have I have a permanent bounce. I just don't have it in hand, unfortunately. Okay. Well, I'm going to draw another card. I'm going to draw... I have to pay for that. Yeah. I mean, they are big. Mm hmm. Do you have an Aether Eyes? No. I, I I can't do anything this game. That's basically it. Because 
I can deal with Lisa, but I'm too low life total, and then Lisa just gets free play, and, and I'm boned. Yeah, that's about the crux cast, of it. Can cast from my graveyard. So that's basically it. And then, in the even if I do the even if I do my my deck's purpose, there's nothing that your decks can do to to get me out of it. So that's basically it for me. And is an unfortunate matchup. Okay. Any tips building a Zedru deck? It depends on what you want to build, Alias. Like, there's a lot of different ways of building a Zedru deck. You want to build, like, traditional... Uh, steal people's stuff? Do you want to be group hug? Depends what you want to do. That's a vault. That's a vault. Okay. Play Tashiro next. Uh, I don't really have Tashiro on. I mean, I could bring Tashiro up, but I, I wanted to do this deck. <laughs> the, the thing <laughs> I brewed. <laughs> Sadly, the other deck I was thinking of bringing was... Um... Charix, the Raging Isle, the Giant Crab. Mm. And I don't think that would have been very helpful to uh, cast things from that deck either. Well, I mean, that's just how it is sometimes. Yeah. Uh... Well, he could have been beating Joffrey for a lot more, though. Big Crab is big, after all. The Big Crab is, is quite big. That is its <laughs> defining characteristic. It is big and it is crab. It is, it is all it needs to be. Oof. Note to self, don't drink old tea. Very bitter. Well, there's a spell I wanted, but I literally... Yeah, I mean... Nah. Nah. We're gonna elaborate in any order. Um, How goes the deck? Uh, I think the deck's sweet. I think it's fine. I think I, I see like a lot of people in chat are like coming up with conclusions on the deck based on a single game, which I think is a little bit unfair. But I think it's doing it's doing all right. Um, it's just a really bad matchup. <laughs> Lisa's like really shutting it down, and uh, eh, happens. So I'm at four, so I literally can't do anything at this point. Um, but I'm just going to cast Jaleva and then show what the deck wants to do. So Jaleva comes out. I lose two. Exile everybody. Well, maybe somebody has something on top. Maybe that, that I, will. I do have a. Let's see what split you get. second oh. gain life. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. So I got my Eternal Dominion. I got Cross as a charm, so I could bounce any permanent back. So I could bounce okay. like the Ghostly Prison or whatever. Um. Back your fiction. 
Wander's command. Is that your eternal dominion or my eternal dominion? It's mine. I put it on top with uh, Limdul's. Ah, uh, right, yeah. Mine's probably the Balagad recovery and the Quandrix's command. And then what I would have done is given Jaleva haste. Yes. And then I would attack with Jaleva. I'm just going to spend like 20 life casting things next turn mm -hmm. and that will be all. <laughs> Hopefully. Swing this way. And then, oh, I get to cast spells with Jaleva. Isn't that cool? And then I would Neat. pick Eternal Dominion, you see. Yes. And I would cast it, targeting Joffrey in this case, because I know he has a Grave Titan. And then I would die. But before I would Did die, I, anybody? I would copy with Miletus Charlton and Nivix Guild Mage, you see. Actually, wait. Oh, I had auto yields on, which kind of sucked. But yeah, Whoops. I could have copied with uh, Nivix Guild Mage and Miletus Charlton a bunch of times, and then every single turn. I would have a bunch of Eternal Dominions uh, going on. Which is sick. I'm I think if sure. I didn't have my auto yields on, there was a small chance that maybe if Joffrey had any life gain in his deck, creature-based or artifact-based or something, I could have copied the copies and not lost, not lost life for that uh, from Lisa and then maybe lived. But I had auto yield on Lisa, so I just automatically died instead. But that's what the deck is doing. I did have a way to stop you from uh, targeting me if it was were it was going to be worrisome, but I don't think there was anything that would have mattered in my deck. Oh well, either eyes. Yeah. I would like to take less damage. For sure. She's back. Yes. Now, the issue is, I don't think I really have any answers to Liza in deck, but I'm going to go and look. That's the best you can do. <laughs> Yeah, Liza's Alrighty. just like very slippery like that. Like she's just incredibly good as a stack, not sacks piece, but like a, just like so, a slug piece. I want to say that she's my favorite control commander mm -hmm. because she does everything that control wants to do. She has a way to drain your opponents out of the game, like through attrition, and she has a bunch of card advantage in a way because she always costs five. Even if they get rid of her, you can just play her again. Yeah. And, and the lifelink just... inherent on her, you don't even need to really have that much lifelink outside of right. her because she's immediately hitting for five every single time. For sure. Yeah, the only Ow. way to really deal with her in a more thorough manner is like you need to use something that will not make her leave the battlefield. Like you need to what? Oko her some or something. Sort of, some sort of shape change or some sort of... Uh, um, What's the Draneth Magistrate and her still in the command zone kind of thing? Yeah. Or like imprisoned in the moon. Oh. Something that doesn't make her leave the battlefield. So this is one of my favorite cards in the deck. It's Mana Severance. Mm. A very good Jadzi. Yep. Alright. Uh ow. Has a commander class crew selected their views? Oh, that's actually a good That's a good thing. I forgot that I have to <laughs> I forgot that I'm a substitute for this week, and we're recording it tomorrow. I think everybody's picked. I think I need to still pick, but I think somebody or I think I already have Ow. one in, in mind. Are you gonna be guesting tomorrow? Uh, well, yeah, it'll it'll go up next week. But um, oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, I, I have Krim can't make it for the viewers submitted, so I'm gonna be popping in.
Only well, 50 games, play... Jason. <laughs> More than well, one. If you want to play Sphinx Edric, I will send you Sphinx Edric. Nah. What was it? <laughs> ah, it was a land. Excellent. Okay. They hired me back, yes. Wah, wah, wah. Well, this is what we call unfortunate. Everything. One of the more good games. Nice. That's the cool thing about not being on the Commander Clash crew for a season is you get to you get to actually watch the games and not know what's gonna go. So that's cool. I get to legit like on Fridays uh watch everybody and not know. Uh, you know. There and that's fun. You get to tune in like everyone else. Yeah. Da da. Oh. Well, at least I know I can't start flooding anymore. <laughs> so I think turn to, like, how powerful it's been ratio, this is the worst coat of arms I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's been out for, like, three or four turns, and the only person that died was Tomer, and he killed himself. Well, I mean, yep. you well, guys definitely helped with the killing. <laughs> I would have cast another eight things, but well, that's how many you can get. Well, you can cast seven. Yeah. True. Um. Well. Let's see if this makes a difference. Can I make something for me instead? I don't know. I need to look over them. There was like a some awkwardness where I don't I don't know why, but apparently it was, it was an issue last time with the viewers minute as well, where um, for some reason YouTube just decides to block a lot of the links uh, when we're I mean, when we're asking for viewer submitted week. That's an agent of treachery. And uh, it seemed like some people were able to post it, and maybe after a couple of days it corrected itself. We have no idea why it would block it in the first place, though, because there's only one setting that I'm aware of on on YouTube. That says you block people from posting URLs, and that's been disabled forever. And I double checked afterwards too, and that's disabled. It's just YouTube decided to block stuff, and we have no idea why. Um, so, yeah, that not works. as many, not as many submissions this time as as usual. And fairies then protection. the fairies protection hmm. counterspell. But what if you didn't do that? 19 cards in hand. Hopefully, there's a counter spell in mono blue. Yes. <laughs> yes. Fantastique. Don't know why I went a bit French there for a moment. I'm very afraid of Jadzi, but. Be sure to give a plant update. The plant you shouldn't be with plant. Liza at the table. Slowly dying. Uh, Grazzle it. All right, what's this path? Oh, getting the Ithalid. Right. Yeah. I, think I have. Hey, it didn't get Jadzi. Huzzah. I, I have enough cards where I can let that go. I think you'll be fine. <laughs> I am very sad. Though Grazlix did do a lot of work this game. How many cards did that thing draw you, God? Eh, probably a good six or seven for sure because it's what one per player it's one per player yeah yeah you were getting at least two a turn off of that for a while okay so you don't phase out <laughs> I get your thing. we're all slowly dying that's true uh 
Yeah, I don't know. The, the plant has brown spots, or the top plant. The bottom plant's doing fine, the top plant. I don't know if everybody's aware that there's two plants, but there is a top plant and a bottom plant, and the top plant has some brown spots on the leaves, and I don't know. Some people are saying you have to water it more. Some people say water it less. I put, I put some water in it once a week. All right. All right, I'll just replace it with a fake plant and nobody will know. Or just replace it with a new plant of the same species. Nobody will know. Here's where there's now an entry on a wiki. Toma replaced his plant so-and-so between so-and-so <laughs> and so-and-so. Uh, Very disappointed. <laughs> R.I.P. plants. That's a lot of damage. That's true. That's a few damages. Just a smidge. Would you like to chump? Mm hmm. Doesn't matter which one, I suppose. You need to check the soil and roots. Eh. I'm just going to get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Not some sort of plant doctor, I don't know. You know, I kind of forgot Ashes of the Abhorrent was here. Yeah. I it didn't. does do a second thing. Alright, I'm down below cards and library from a tail again, so that makes me happy. Disc. No, he's drawn more cards than me. <laughs> After he managed to reinstall your lands away. Um, seriously, how much did I? I mean, he drew a lot of cards off reconnaissance mission. Yeah. That's been out a long time. He has forty-seven cards left in his deck. He mm -hmm. didn't manage to rinse all the lands out either. Yeah. I got rid of, like, I think 19 or so lands. God. I've drawn two extra cards. Oh, whoops, sorry, I forgot to press OK. <laughs> and here I am, menacing with my command zone. Lisa's, Lisa's pretty good. Card, uh, what is it, uh, the, the, the Richard strategy of card quality. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and land. Yeah, I, I can't, sure I can't run Toski, but I've got a few replacement Toskis. Oh yeah, Blue's Blue's okay with that. Yeah. Yep. There she is. Yep. She's back. Back again. Scoop sippy cups. I I brought it back up. There was like merch ideas being tossed around. Apparently, my merch idea is not that popular with Richard though. <laughs> Scoop sippy cups, cauldron tokens. Hmm. Not much I can do. I don't think. I think this game's over. The might of coat of arms arcane adaptation is strong. Uh, I mean, I'd argue the might of Agent of Treachery, for sure, but... I mean, yeah, that too. The might of 21 cards in hand. For sure. <laughs> Agent of Treachery was just realistically, like, naturalized here, though, so... True. I would have... And if someone beat me with a naturalized, I'd say it beat me, too. Fair enough. All right. I know it can't be a land, so get. Uh, let's see, one, two. I have eight. <clears throat> no, sorry. I had six 
non-instancer sorceries left in deck. Now I have five. <laughs> Ouch. I'm not even going to cast this. I want the life. Well, considering I have one land in hand, I've drawn uh, 12 lands this game. It's pretty nice. Ooh. But it is what it is. Lisa's still doing her thing. That's all we care yep. about. Lisa almost got there by herself. <laughs> well, I would say that her shiny boots definitely helped. Yeah. Yes. Just a smidge. She's too powerful, so I have to kill her. 20. So if I hit you with. I hear counting. I don't like that. <laughs> this makes me very scared. Alright, well, let's go with. Bird. Hi. Suburb. That's seventeen, and that's a butcher twenty. Mm, deck lists are in the video uh, video description. Nightfall can't do deckless. Excellent, what a broken set. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Am I dead? I believe he's saying you for 17. Oh. Hey, yep. did the math. The, the math <laughs> checked out. Math checked out. Sweet. Alright. I think I'm gonna go swap decks real quick. Yep. Is everybody good for a game two? I'd love a game two. Sweet. Uh, so we'll personally, go... personally, I don't know if you want to grab someone else if you can real quick. I, I would cut it too close for me, I think. If, especially if it's a longer game. Yeah, that's fair. Um, we'll see if I can grab somebody for a game two. We'll take a, a five minute break and uh, we'll see if I can grab somebody else. Yep. Sounds good. All right. Uh, later, Joffrey. Thanks for the game. For sure. And, uh, no problem. Appreciate uh, it. Yeah. Thanks for the game, Joffrey. Yeah. Uh, thanks. I'll see if see maybe we can grab a, a one person. Yes. Break time. Five minutes. The we'll elevator see, music. We'll see, uh, let's see if we'll grab another person.
Oh, we might have gotten somebody. Yes. All right, collection. All right, chat. Uh, we might have gotten somebody. Uh, I'm going to go get a refill on water, and uh, we'll be back for another another attempt at this Jaleva goodness. Good evening. Hey. Hello. Thanks for, for the last second uh, pop-in. <laughs> Appreciate oh, it. Me. I do not have a deck list ready, though. Oh. Can you... Hey. Do you have one that you could... I think I can ready? just e export my deck list, right? Yes. I think that's the thing. Hang on. I usually build them on empty goldfish, but this one I don't have on there. If you have a text file or something, you can just uh, export it that way too, or import it that way rather. To plain txt, that should work. Let's create a new deck.
today. All right. We immediate are back. reaction was I must outjank this epic spell with more <laughs> epic spells. Yes, and then and then it's both uh, mutual sabotage in that regard. Which one you, would you have taken, the green one? Oh, both. Oh. Um, all right. So we're back. <laughs> uh, we were on a quick break, and now let's uh, pop into game two. Woo, boo! I am here. Me too. Sweet. Yeah, I'm usually not on the theft archetype. I usually avoid it. Mostly because I would like, like to play first. When yes. I do theft, it's like uh that's kind of like cringe stick. So I, I, I try to avoid it as much as possible. I think um, my goal this game well, is I'll keep this. to cast has, your eternal dominion. It has four lands. I can cast my commander. Oh, this okay. is fine. I don't want to be massacred again. Yeah, so the one time I go for it, it gets okay. severely punished. Oh. Ah. Uh, no lander. Ooh, yikes. All right. Two lander. Uh, maybe hold on to this one. Can't cast my spells. Cast one of my spells. My, my hand is relatively slow, so if. I mean, my first play is current three, play. so. I'll be fine. Down to six. Sick. Anyways, Temple of Mouse. Was half expecting to turn on Soul Ring. No, you think Soul Ring's in a five ticks budget? <laughs> oh. Mm. Well, well mm. no, I don't think that's possible at the moment, is it? Normally, no, Soul, Ring Soul, Ring, gets... Soul Ring is like one and a third ticks or so. Usually, Soul Ring gets really cheap when new Commander decks get released, but. I don't think there have been any releases, have there? No, yeah, the new commander stuff's not on Moto yet. I was going to, I was going to update my <laughs> meme, all of the Commanders Matters cards for the new, for this coming uh, <laughs> viewer submitted week, and then I was really sad because uh, that stuff's not online yet. I still did submit it. I think this. Ooh, portent. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> All right. Portent's awesome. It's basically just a verse ponder. But yeah. in some cases, better. Like, right now, it's oh, excellent with Sanathar. Oh. Ah, yeah, the big can... crab is here. The, the so, big crab is... The big crab has made its appearance. So, hmm. So depending on your lands, you can make it into like a, a 16 one. Current, currently with one island. I, uh, I play I it well, I mean, down, down, down the road. But, the turn. but down the road, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yield until my main phase. Okay. Have at ye. Uh, let's play. Boop. Nice, some ramp.
Oh. As well. Electromancer. Yeah, we'll keep that on top. I did not catch that Jedi Eva is a wizard. Nice. Yeah, a little bit of extra synergy. Hmm. I, I was tempted to make my deck into Jaleva build too. Uh, just because I really want to run Valky. But he's really expensive at the moment, so I, I'll have to wait until I, until I can afford him. Hmm. Actually, you know what? No. Yeah. Actually. do kind of want that land. Dilatap land, excellent. <laughs> Ow. I just take a I just took a bag of small blueberry muffins to the face. Did you, were you like swinging it around? What? <laughs> no, someone just chucked snacks at me. Oh. And they have better aim than they should. Oh. <laughs> Consider it, I guess. The blueberry yeah. sniper. Ah. Oh. So, Tomer, which of the um Goodbye, the Erratic Portal got boiled yesterday? Are you most looking forward to? Oh, the planes. Or just the out of all the products that are going to be coming out next year. Uh, for me personally, uh, I'm most hyped for the mobster plane, the okay. Art Deco Noir mobster yeah. demon plane. That sounds really cool to me. It's also a new plane too, which I find really exciting. Um, but what about you guys? What 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 are you most excited for for next year? Definitely the Brothers War. Mm. That's gonna be great. Oh. I do hope for some new. I mean, it's not technically speaking, Phyrexian era, but it's it takes place during a time where a lot of Phyrexian artifacts were uncovered by the two of them. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm hoping for some new treats from my Phyrexia decks. And obviously a new Mishra. The old one is kind of useless. Well, I loved the um, the original Commander Legend. And so if or more in the vein of that set, you know, either more partners or just, you know, the the way the power level was all balanced and everything. I, I could see myself being pretty excited for the, the Baldur's Gate set. I don't no. know much about... Like, I'm, I I haven't really played Dungeons & Dragons, so I, I don't really know much about the flavor. But, um, you know, if they're able to repeat what they did with the first Commander Legends in this product, um, aside from, like, Jeweled Lotus, <laughs> then I would be pretty happy with it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I do hope, though, that the rally is more spread out this time. Right, last time it was basically shoot Lotus or you just play Wars Bust. Or Box, I think is the right word. Uh, I, th I think if they sort of catch the sweet spot where a lot of cards hold uh, like 5 to 10 bucks value, then that's going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because then drafting feels even better. Or, or sealed, or whatever you want to do. Yeah, and I'll, um, I'll, I'll be excited to see how they, um, if they do any retooling with the, the draft format, 
because I know, especially online, it could take a very long time and was not always the best experience. Um, yeah. But if if they, you know, turn the dials a little bit and maybe make the cards a little bit more powerful and limited, things like that, then I don't know. Yeah, right. I mean, that's that's the thing I think I'm looking forward to the most. That or the unset. Yeah. Unstable was unstable was one of the my favorite draft environments in the past like couple of years. Oh, I just loved it fun, so much. Yeah. I loved making humming kittens and ponies and like all <laughs> all of that kind of stuff, just putting them all together. So mm-hmm. having a space unset, especially with some of the creative people I know that are involved, like LLR, um a few like Graham and Kathleen from Loading Ready Run were on the creative team and wrote some of the the jokes and stuff. So I don't know. I think that one should be a lot of fun too. Yeah, they brought some talented folks for it. It'll be fun. And you should be able to actually play with the sets again, right? Like twenty two or close to the end of twenty two should definitely be plays game store. Uh, yes, I hope. I hope so. again. Hopefully, with any, yeah. With any luck. Ooh, there's some spice in here. Uh, yeah. What do I want? What you this got? This seems kind of sweet with my commander. Yeah, this is very um... <laughs> another unfortunate matchup for me, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, really can't get a break. This this uh, the one time I actually go for a theft deck. Uh, let's let's go for for the old classic soaring. And soaring do be good. Yeah, I wish I had it. Would have been mm. nice. Oh, should I just do that? Oh, that's good. Magister's five. Damn it. One short of equipping. Um, huh. Let's do let's do the sensible thing. Alright, let's cast this. And let's gargoyle. Suspend this. And pass the turn. Hmm. It's basically like for the lantern package in the deck. It's not a true lantern deck, it just has some middle the top of your deck in order for me to actually cast stuff and not hit two lands and be able to not do anything with my commander. Yeah. I also have cards like Jace in here, like Party Jace, that works too. In a less uh, annoying sort of way. Bad Lots of ponder. artifact. Meet good ponder. <laughs> no, actually, Portland is a better ponder in my deck because I can actually uh, shuffle around opponent's decks and make them sh- uh, or, or, or re- rearrange the top cards. In order to- me to use them more effective. effectively. Do I like these cards? I don't think I like these cards. How does Geneva work? Ah, oh, exiles and enters. I mean. <coughs> Huh, okay. So I think the goal is a uh, mystical tutor for Eternal Dominion and then Geneva, right? Yeah. As a sort of way to ramp it out. Basically, yeah, as far as I can tell. And then copy it with things. So you're getting like three to five a turn. Hopefully. Do, do you do you have uh, the Planeswalker Raw that can copy? Yeah, I have I have copy effects. Oh, nice. I think I'll, I'll hold on to this one, I guess. Sure. I, I put the there. card on top that you want, and then I can just bother Adele you again. Uh, probably, <laughs> probably not. Probably don't want that. 
probably want to do the thing that my deck wants to do. All right, I'll just hit you. Fair. I mean, soon I can start doing the thing my deck wants to do. Defending player has four more cards in hand, so I <laughs> can't block this. Such a weird card to use. Is the, the fetch land. Is the erotic portal meant for your commander? Yep. Ah. Yeah, it's a very good enter the battlefield effect. The goad. Do, do you also have, like, what's the other ones? We have uh, the end of turn blink effect. Yeah, like Conjurer's Closet and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I've got those. Oh, do you have the uh, the new sword? That links as well, doesn't it? Funnily enough, that's like 0. 0.2 ticks, so yes, I oh. do. Nice. Yeah, despite all, all that people have been saying about that sword, it doesn't see much play at all. I think I've seen it a few times in like Soul Herder stuff, but and then occasionally in Commander, but... Uh been having a lot of fun with it in my mono green deck. Blinking, uh, God, what's the card? The seven mana creature that draws for every green creature. Regal Force, that's the one. Ah, oh, yeah. All right. Uh... Fight amongst that. yourselves. <laughs> My 2 2 will get there. Get him, boys. Kid hit the soaring before doing anything. Yeah, let's try for soaring. Um, wait, so my. Attack, not me. Wait, how does this work? It, the Gargoyle can only attack people that have seven or more cards in hand, so it could only attack Tailspinner, but it can't attack Tailspinner. What? No, it doesn't attack. Do, do, it, do, it, can't, it cannot attack. Yeah, it yeah. can't attack. It yeah, can't it attack. attack. Yeah, it does say if able. So. Yeah. All right, so let's attack here and try for another Soaring. I'm greedy. I Bell's doing some serious work already. Two Soarings is very good. I have been so impressed with her. Oh, have a monkey instead. Oh, fair enough. Like fair enough. A monkey. <laughs> sure. Um. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could do this. Probably should have done this earlier. Uh, definite. Oh my god, what a mistake. Jesus. Yeah. Commander time? No. But I should definitely have done this pre-combat. Um, what is it? Yeah. Definitely should have. It wouldn't have changed much, but it Lord. definitely should have. Wait, why is it... Oh, fuck, it actually equips to the Skydiver. Didn't know that. Yeah. Huh. Yep. You could have <laughs> nabbed the Lightning Greaves. Oh, that actually is perfect because that saves me equipment. Plus, so I can't even play in the rock. And then there was ramp. Huzzah. <laughs> yeah, one double glass basically wrecks me. But that's every single game of the stack. I did find a way to ramp in non green decks that actually land ramp. Uh, because Cleansing Wildfire can hit indestructible lands. And still it uh, work. search out the search out a basic and draw a card. 
Yeah, it's, uh, that's new Popper tech. Everybody in Popper is doing that now. I saw it in really? in Seth's against the odds deck in Modern today. Yeah, with the um, with the new indestructible artifact dual lands. There's a, yeah. there's a lot of uh, cleansing wildfire decks. The card is really good. I, I'm really surprised that people haven't played the card more before. Like even the interaction with flagstones is kind of crazy. Yeah. Really, that's on top. I think people have been playing. What is it? Boom bust with flagstones. Oh, hang on. You have flagstone greaves. Oh boy. What do you hit? I know. I'm hitting one thing. Oh no! Oh, 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 like no. no! Oh, okay. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, Flood of tears. A... Might be some of that. Oh that's boy! Cool. Oh, you hit. Blatant thievery. I... Wait, that's yours, isn't it? Oh, for... oh god. <laughs> no, yeah, not my card. We'll the... I think we'll start with the Karn. That sounds great. That's a yikes. I guess I know what's getting bounced. Oh. <laughs> no, my funny Unleash Fury. Oh, uh, no, not that. <laughs> Wait, why can't I attack? Illegal <laughs> attack. Card rip. Why? Well, you um, can't you attack, me. attack me. I should be able to attack you, yeah. Yeah. Wait, you can't attack? Really? Combat, attack huh? attack yeah. in Kylosaur. Illegal attack. Why is this is illegal Carter attack? Is Carter bugged? Oh, yeah, to attack yeah. with Electromancer too. Oh, oh like, right, 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 right. Yeah, right, right, right. That's, that's the illegal part. Okay. Yep. Uh, I guess, I guess. What am I saying? Is Carter bugged? The... I literally just saw it work. Yeah. Die. I mean... Are you just sending it to die? No. Wait, like, why? Well, he has to, uh, Ink has to pay three to uh, do this thing. All right, we'll do Carter. You sent the Electromancer at me. Why did you send the Electromancer at me? Punter Bluff. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was sending it at Ink. Oops. Nope. Well, <laughs> that's a shame. Yeah, I thought I was sending it at Ink to, to get blocked by the crab, and I'm like, yeah, the crab's fine. See, it could be nice here not block for the mistake, but there is a crunch in Pro Sundering. Wait, what yes. did it bounce? What did it bounce? What? It says it. It says. Dr. Anime returns no cards to their owner's hand. Oh, I might Wait, have double clicked. <laughs> no, whatever. Uh, <laughs> left click. Which one to uh, block? That's unfortunate. Wah, wah, wah. Sure. I mean, you do have a lot of tears sitting there, right? Oh, no. Yep. God, the blatant theory is blatant. <laughs> yeah, I could do that. I could also flood of tears though. That's true. True, true. Can I? The truth is that two commanders out there. Cast all of my spells. Mm -hmm. But there's also leaving. Oh, there's my leaving sky <sighs> I could just steal things instead. Yeah, I think. Mm. Hey, um, there has been a. I wish I still had my erratic portal right now. To be honest. You seem, you seem to have an untapped uh, black mana. I do. Is, yeah. is there anything you can do with that? Um, yes, there is something I can do with that. Not that it's going to help at all right now, no. but I can do something. Lightning Bolt would be excellent. Lightning Bolt uh, has Shroud. Kaleva has Shroud. Oh, yeah, the shroud this, uh, yeah. Also, Lightning Bolt is too expensive for my budget. <laughs> well, I think it's like, yeah, I know it's 30 cents. That may be too much. Trace is Sanctum. So I assume it's not Flood of Tears, then? No, I think I'm just going to play in Thievery. Oh, oh no, my Carter. Ah, uh, your Carter's fine. My Skydiver. 
Oh no. My land. Summer, are all your budget commander decks just budget infinite combo? I don't think this deck has any infinites in it. Hey, whoops. Sorry, that's my fault. Yielding. No worries. <laughs> Why am I not healed? What's going on? Oh, my bloody Ventress Gargoyle. Would you like to mill a card? Would I? Mm. Would it help? That's the bigger question. Please swing at me. That seems like a good idea. So last time? No. <laughs> ah, sure. Goodbye, O Temple of Malice. Let's use its ability. Uh, grab. No. <laughs> I'm not taking Cherix. Oh, okay. I think you're taking training grounds, right? Or Swifty Boots. Why? Uh, Even just oh no! Wait, yeah, training ground is, is really good with what he's trying to really do. Sad. I just want to land. <laughs> hey, look, it's ramp. Yeah, it's blue ramp. Actually, if I get you hmm. to Eternal Dominion a lot quicker, not wrong. Yeah, we'll do this. Yoink. You used to counter spell. Nah. I thought about My it. My island. My mm -hmm. island. Well, you took my okay. soul no. ring. I felt like my temple of malice. You could have taken the soul ring. Yeah, I could have. Well, okay. Um. You know what I think of that? No. <laughs> nice. No. I will float a mana. And yield. <laughs> yeah, yield. Yes, I'm with the yeah, bad land. Charm. Perfect. Oh, I got a lot of lands and an lizard charm. Nice. I love that every single land you took actually makes the colors you want to. Yeah, there's a nice overlap here with people. Yep. Not the green or white play in the round. Krim would love this matchup. Yep. Grixis us all the way. There was a reason why I divided Steven. Someone was asking in chat why I clicked what I clicked. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Nice. I, I would like you to fight amongst yourselves, please. <laughs> I imagine you do. I would like someone, to draw something relevant. Someone, someone stole my land, so. But who? <laughs> who would do such a thing? I don't know. The who person would... that's getting smashed for a lot of damage this turn, I think. I can imagine so, yeah. I think you might take something like 20 damage here. There's a big Jarix, and this activation only costs one. Yeah, but Ank doesn't want to do that to me. Right, Ank? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you done enough damage to me last game, I think, Ank? I think my mana... I think my mana is going to be tied up <laughs> dealing with this Conjurer's Closet. <laughs> so, no, don't so deal with the Conjurer's Closet. Point attack tail at any point during this game. Uh, how about they just don't? 
Hey, and if if I get rid of the lightning greaves, can you get rid of the Jaleva? Oh, there was an inevitable betrayal. Yeah, it's been there for a while, I... but it's not there this... Oh. Let me just yield oh, this... and pull here. Uh, well, this is interesting. Huh. So, so can you kill the Jaleva? I think Are I'm they... most concerned about this closet that's just going to make us keep attacking. Oh, oh no, no, <laughs> it's fine. It's My fine. way to deal with the lightning grease may also deal with the conjurer's closet. But what if it a vandal that blast? That would... Wait, no, this is the mirror colors. Wrong colors. Yeah, I don't well, know. Well, if, if you can get rid of both of them, then I can probably deal with Jaleva. Hmm. Uh, that sounds like a deal. I don't like this deal. Sounds like a bad deal. I have an alternative deal. Uh, I can get you back your sword, Ink. Yeah, you know what I want to do with Jaleva? I want to cast Flood of Tears. Yes. So. Yes. You would get back your your sword of Feast and Famine. And you would set back the uh, Conjurer's Closet corridor thing. No matter what turn. happens, he won't attack with Jaleva. I can guarantee that. Oh. Ooh. Politics. Well. I'm. I am still open to uh, <laughs> to Jaleva, so I would like my sword back. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that works too. <laughs> What did you take? You took Conjurer's Closet, you took... Took my Greaves and took your Lightning Greaves, but no. they're still equipped. Oh, it's now still I really equipped. wish I had my Erratic Portal still. Alright, just, yeah, let me let me cast Flood of Tears, and it still lets me attack. That I'm sounds... fine with this. You won't attack with Flood of Tears. Think... What? I can guarantee that you won't attack with Flood of Tears. Um, you're tapped mm. out, so you would have to. I'm not summon. tapped out. I have a sword of war and a uh, sword of he's gonna, he's got untapped uh, with the sword. Well, I'd make ah, sure yes. that you have it, right? I mean, you either answer it or you don't. Mm -hmm. mm. I kind of. Ah, oh, fuck. I. I... May have miscalculated how many lands I actually have. Oh. Yes. <laughs> did, did one of them maybe get stolen? <laughs> I did. Did you have I perhaps have stolen a land. pack of land? <laughs> By any Wait, chance. why didn't I get the lightning greaves? You, I uh, don't know. You, you, you do you have, have to, it. You have to move it to a different to creature. Equip them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, here we go. Yep. Um, Ta -da. And because I might have done a duty, um, extra protected ape. Um, this ape got <laughs> boots. Would you like to blink your ape? No. Dang. Hmm. What a shame. I would like to untap my blocker. Fisk. All right, we do have to deal with this, so Ank, if you can help me out with okay. this. Yes, I I would much rather that you flood of tears now. Oh god, that's that, that's going to set me back to the of tears. <laughs> you, I mean, you're you're pretty stacked there, so. <laughs> that's gonna set. Me. Thanks so much. All right, I gotta attack somebody with this crab though, because Carter says I have to. <laughs> it does. Uh, Take the guy like to the slow the line? island. It's not gonna be me. How does this block? It says can't block unless you have four more cards in hand. Okay. It's such a so it card. can't block right now. Not yet. I think I should have equipped the Swift Reboots to the Ventress Gargoyle for extra value. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, this is gonna... 
You do know that I will end up with three lands after this. I mean, I, yeah, you I'll... will you will have some of the mana rocks that you own. Uh, two. Hmm? You also know who's going to be on top by a lot, right? Like on top by know. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The guy is getting his soul ring back. <laughs> yeah. But am, am I going to be more on top than you currently are? That's the question. Yes, I'm over. I don't think so. Debatable. I have a sort of feast and famine that untaps three lands. That's true. For now. But you have a pretty good board state, and you're eating away at everybody's hands with the sword of feast of famine, and you're going to get no, Xanathar on the battlefield. Just yours. And, and as soon as you get you. Xanathar, you're going to have a little engine going on where you're just taking everybody else's cards. It's not anywhere whereas, near close to Xanathar time. Whereas my Jaleva, you know what Jaleva has under her. She has to die yes. for me to get more value out of her. So I would I would say you're pretty much ahead. And if I reset the board, it will not be as bad as what it currently is with you. Also, you're going to get a bribery next turn as well. True. That is true. I don't recommend bribery me, just for the record. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a great uh, bribery target either. But I I'm mean, not. You get I'm something. not crap tribal, but it's also not a. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the creatures are not very good. They're mostly uh, one ones uh, that tap to make. Uh, unless Tailspinner has a shield with somewhere in his deck, my bribery won't do much. That's I mean. Sure. Most of my stuff just makes you encourage attacking each other. And you are the one I will take because I actually know Tomer's deck list. There's nothing. Just take the copying thing. It's fine. What copying thing? Uh, something charlatan. Uh, no, the charlatan. Just take. The Why charlatan. would I want that? You'll be resolve. fine. Oh God. <laughs> And you get to put something onto the battlefield. Wee. No, Where it are you? I only no, have two things. No, I, I only have two things. Three. The soul ring counts. Oh, because I'm returning the soul ring to my hand. Yep. Oh, but it's still, but it's still four. four. It's still four. No, wait, no, it counts. There's a lightning greaves. Oh, it's my lightning greaves as well. Huh. <laughs> All right. I mean, That's it says you funny. control, not you own. So. That is pretty funny. I love on this. Wait, so... Oh, you control. Okay, so it's not own. Hey. Oh, so it yep. doesn't work. I'm only getting two things back. Oh, well. Ouch. I mean, I'm I'm pretty good with that. It's a shame. I mean, I will get back my sword. I mean, you can just re-steal any artifact yep. you want with thieving thing. I'm going to make it work I will for get it. back the sword. It's going to be a one power stone rather than a soaring, but I will get it back. Uh, ask this. Thanks. Pass. You got. I don't know. I feel so bad for Ank. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel bad for Ank, but Ank also got to go off last game and he was drawing like 20 cards a turn, so I can't feel that Fair bad. Fair enough. <laughs> it's true. I had, I think I've had my <laughs> afternoon. You had a good run. I had a terrible run last game, so I'm looking to, to do something good this game, too. That's how it goes. Um, yeah, I sort of just fizzled twice and was like, all right, cool, can't do anything. Yep. Nice. Let's get this on the battlefield. Sanctum? I mean, it's a bad turn, right? You can easily cast Sanctum here. Sanctum and then Jaleva. Oh. Oh. That's a Lithoform engine. It's fine. Mm-hmm. And then Jaleva? 
I mean, the, the good thing is that you hit my best cards already. Or my best cards are in my own. Oh dear, that's a paradox haste. <laughs> Setting up. Oh yeah, of course, because Dominion, right? Extra, extra keep. 5D chess himself? I thought this was okay. I thought this was a good sequence of events. Maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. Mm, I feel like it's my point. I don't know. Yeah, like the reason why I took the lanes is because I wanted to cast Flood of Tears eventually. And people were like, well, why don't you steal the sword? But I wanted to cast Flood of Tears. <laughs> no. I was kind of hoping you would steal the Skydiver. Because then the sword would have untapped my stuff. I'm just gonna do this. Uh, the plan was always and... uh, Flood of Tears, which is greedy, because if, you know, if Jaleva died, then it wouldn't have panned out. Or if you had a counterspell, it wouldn't have panned out, but... Uh, you exiled my only counterspell. Uh, Guys, I've rebuilt my board. You don't even have Spell Wonderful. Swindle? I feel like that's on theme. Uh, I think Spell Swindle is the one that's Whoa. not on here, right? I haven't seen a bot before. This is cool. Um, let's hide user from channel and let's remove. Cool. Wow. Never had a bot before enter stream. I kind of feel like I made it now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, moving up in the world. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Take that. Hot <laughs> girls <laughs> and boys. <laughs> Hot girls and boys. <laughs> Webcams. Chat.com. What's wow. he getting? I have no clue. He casts an engine while he has Skydiver in hand. He's going to need a lot of mana to steal that with Skydiver. And if he spends... Oh, boy. Six. Okay, there is stuff there in is, here. There is one big thing that I think you're looking at. Oh. If I pull up my deck list to you on the side. I wonder what it is. It's a Massacre Worm. I'm not looking at the Massacre Worm, no. Is it like a Consecrated Sphinx or something? Wait, no, that's... Rakdos, Rakdos. I don't know. Sire of Insanity would be hilarious. Oh, no. Sire of Insanity with Xanathar is, like, legit a strategy, though, right? Because, like, Xanathar still has yeah. to cast spells. Definitely. Would you like a frenzied saddle brute? <laughs> what is it? Hang on, let me read that card. Oh, creatures can attack your opponents and things for us. So does it. <laughs> <laughs> You guys have haste while you're attacking, not me. That seems good, but I think I'll take the card advantage. And the life gain, you know. Um, nice. Ah, damn. He's got the Twilight Prophet. Fuck, I didn't draw land. Um, yes. Alright, this may be a rather short turn. Incoming mana rocks. Yep. Yep. Yoga. I do love Twilight Prophet. Is it crab time? <laughs> we'll if if I hit land number four. <laughs> I've got the world's most disappointing Nyx Lotus in hand right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we did. Crab time. Right. Crab time. You have so many cards in hand, though. I had Ooh, crab for lunch today. Dang, I like that island. It's nice. Shadowmore. Maybe instead Ooh, fancy man having crap. time, we try not to discard and play out a couple of things. No crab. No crab. Just a couple other things. There's some stuff. He doesn't want to be forced to attack with the crab if he puts his boots on it. <laughs> Okay. I do hope that they reprint Training Crowns and, uh, what is it? Is Double Masters 2? I don't want to use this. Yeah. It desperately needs a reprint. What's like Train 40 bucks now? 50 some. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's never gotten a reprint, I think. Which card is and this? Training, training Crowns. Oh, Training it's, Crowns. It's really annoying. Especially if you want to play play it like 
in the same sort of deck as Biomancer's Familiar, but he don't want to go into, like, a uh, white or red for Zerda. Like, you'd, it's just, it would be really nice to be able to have, like, the four training grounds for Biomancer's Familiar and go, like, Simic mm -hmm. for a lot of stuff. But then a lot of the time you're just straight up priced out because a place out of training grounds is 200 bucks. And nope. It's also annoying as a as a Zancher player. There's except for Hearthstone, there's no activation cost reduction effect in those colors. So that's white red, training grounds is blue, biomancers is blue green. Nothing for nothing for Zancher. Please no no good hits. None of wait, my five hundred no. tutors. Mm, let's Did you just more. long complaints into that? My fade away. Well, oh, not Which another board, bounce board spell. No. Oh, gosh! I was not thinking correctly. Uh, what happened? Nothing. It's all fine. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you had some really good hits. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. All right. Um. You hit the Praetor's Grasp. Praetor's Grasp is cool. Can I cast? You may cast it as long as it remains exiled. Guess how much Praetor's Grasp is at the moment. Uh. Is it like dollar? ten dollars? Twelve-ish bucks. That's and... not close to. You know, I was googling a fool. ensues. I was a fool. Yeah, it's it's a lot. Uh, Euro prices started around like seven or eight. Do we yep. Like rack this term no, thing? actually, more. It, it starts at ten euros. Oh my god! Man, that's so expensive it's like for what's functionally a bulk rare. Price. No, it's not easy. It's a big uh, CDH card. Oh, is it? Yeah, you can shop the bonus combos. Oh, true. Makes sense. <sighs> Stupid auto yields nonsense. But did you want to Lither Farm something? I want to do something. Oh, you want to Lither Farm the trigger. trigger. Yeah, I want to do something with yeah, the trigger. Back on the top of the deck and such. All right. Uh, we're just going to do this. <laughs> we're just going to do this, I guess. It's... <laughs> <laughs> no, don't give him the toilet profit. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, this boy. game is not going great for either Ank or me. Oh man! Hey, this makes my Nyx Lotus not as terrible. Thanks. You're welcome. We're just gonna we're just gonna try and find a land, I guess. I don't know. This is all right. We found a land. Cool. Loves at three lands. I'm not gonna have to discard the hand size. <laughs> well then. <laughs> oh man, that was that was a strange turn. Hey, okay. Scarlet is always good. Alright. Just got a two flashback cards. Yeah, I have a little flashback package in the deck that I think is sweet. And you get them all with quiet speculation. Do we have a uh, careful study too? Um, it's I don't... like it's right for looting without flashback. No, I went to believe for flashback because I had quiet speculation, so I wanted like six tutor targets. The big hmm. one is like increasing vengeance, though, for the deck. Do you have Boston Flames too? Uh, yes, I think. And uh, what's the other good one? It's not a good one. Oh, uh, Ignite the Future. That's another way to play oh, Eternal yeah. Dominion for free. Well, not for free. You have to pay eight mana to flash it back. But you can play it for free. <laughs> what do you all think of a Suspend Tribal deck? Like uh, the. I think Joyra gets hated out immediately. No, 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 no not Joyra, and uh, not with an the obvious. The uh, one. 
no, no, no. Vega would be like I think it would just go Garth and and go five cover and just play every good suspense spell and just make it super hard to track what I'm actually doing. <laughs> you have to go for a tell suspend just to really, really make it absurd. And then your your creatures are morph creatures. <laughs> just, just a mess. Alright. Oh, it actually sounds like a sweet idea. Well, time to so, discard the hand size. Is there a better oh. commander for that than... Is there a better commander for that than Garth, though? Garth is just a value engine in this case. Well, if you have to go five color... Um... Behold, budget Probably tutors. Golos, but... <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't recommend Golos. I wouldn't recommend Golos. Yeah, the sensible house guard the to get my service. erratic portal. Yeah. Uh, can't I just draw? I guess I'll have to steal my mana. Come back to me. You're taking my soul ring. Yep. Yeah. You have way more than enough mana. I actually don't, though. That's the annoying part. One, two, three, four. Oh, whoops. But actually, automatically targets. That's nice. Come here. Quality of life upgrades. Yeah, that sucks. They're good. Actually, need that slurring. Ah, uh, man, I should stop. And another old soul. I feel like it's turn three. Um, I mean, functionally, yeah. <laughs> I do like that you had the world to cast with your Jaleva and you just I just had, I had auto yields and the auto yield actually screwed me over or else I would have done something more fun. But there were so many good cards and the just my mnemonic betrayal would have been incredible. Yeah, but that's not what I'm what I'm here for. Man, it's not wrong. Go, go, gotta respect it. Uh, gotta respect the jink. Two, three, four. Yep. My deck building has grown on a, on a steady diet of against the odds. <laughs> I respect the dang at all times. Uh, How are we going to do this, Jim? I really liked uh, today's against the odds deck. Gave me a couple of ideas what to, what to build in paper. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to go do that after the stream it finishes. Getting rid of my my vanishing tack, but I need to hold on to the rest of it. Vanishing and trying to put your faces out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's removal. It is removal. A hammer. I like it. It's removal and protection, depending on what you yeah. need. Ten out of ten. Mm. I have to go digging through my old blue cards box and see if I've got any. This can get one, two, three, four, five, twenty. It's so awkward that I don't have enough mana. <laughs> <sighs> that soaring actually screwed me over huge. All right, I gotta cast anything then. And I can just bounce oh. it again. That'd be hilarious. Stop it with the bouncing. <laughs> All right. So this would be... Four, five, and then mm, I could just <sighs> we'll do this two, three, 
like do this. Play this. Hey, inscribe on draw two cards. Pretty good. This on top. And what's been hitting you that you're down to like twenty seventeen? Remember when point? I bladen fever read and everybody attacked me? <laughs> it was uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> it was that. Makes sense. Makes sense. Not sure why people hit me, but that and the and the flashback uh, deep analysis also loses three life. Yeah, three life. But... So I, I I took twenty from from people. Also, like three damage from Carter's effect. I don't think right. any. I don't think love has died while attacking. No. Just been bounced. Jeez. No, but other people's stuff, right? Like my, uh, what was it? The thing that got pongified? Thought Adele died during combat. Oh, um, yeah. The Goblin Lacrimancer died during combat. Yeah, most All stuff right, died. Let's... Jaleva, Jaleva likes bouncing herself though. Let's have a look at what we got. If I've learned one thing today is how powerful Jaleva actually is. Terrifyingly so sometimes. It's it's interesting because I, I I found Jaleva being pretty strong at least initially like she came out in 2013, um, and people, as as people do, they find like the the most powerful thing to do with her, and turns out it's usually like stacking your your uh, library with uh, extra turn spells and whatnot and extra combats and then fighting ways to balance yeah, her. Way. Yeah, yeah, it takes a lot of boring. it takes a lot of effort though. Like you can only cast, you know, a certain amount of extra turns off the top of your library, like four or so. So you need to find ways to bounce her as well and all that good stuff. Um what anyways, is this? I'm going to encourage a bitter feud here. Oh, bitter man. feud. Such control by one of the old <laughs> <laughs> So like Jaleva, Fight amongst yourselves. Oh man, Jaleva, <clears throat> Jaleva kind of got like immediately substituted by Narset shortly afterwards, though. Like, so nobody really looked at Nar uh, Jaleva anymore because you people were trying to do degenerate things, which is just like take extra combats, take extra turns. But Narset just did it way better. No loyalty. So who's who's feuding, Dale? I hope not. Well, who me. would who would like to be feuding? I think I'm gonna let Tomer. I'm not gonna me. leave Tomer. Gonna leave Tomer alone, uh, for now because I want to actually see, um, me die. Yep. His thing go off. I'm trying so hard to uh, make it happen. <laughs> I I started today trying to do the same thing, and neither of us got it off in game one. So now I'm caught. Now I'm just to play, think that you were three cards faster than me getting my Praetor's grasp, which would have taken your eternal dominion. What? <laughs> you had an Eternal Dominion as well? No, but I had a Praetor's Grasp on the top of my no, deck. No, but he has something that says, steal something from deck. Oh, so, could, I, could, I Eternal, could I Praetor's Grasp myself? No. No, but I could have taken yours. Oh, yeah, that would have been really sad. It's, it's basically, it's just, oh, right. it's the this same as Gaunti. It's the I same as Gaunti. Yeah, it would have made me... Does it matter? <laughs> Maybe very upset. Oh, it wouldn't even have worked for me, would it? No. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's well, maybe it would have. Then. I don't know how much stuff you had. Mine. Anyways. You guys have a shot. Yeah. Right. Unless I draw something. Excuse me? I did not draw something. Um, I must say, I think I'm having more fun now that I'm actually doing things mm. and not getting mana screwed for the first five turns. <laughs> I mean, this time last game, we were just dead on by Lisa, right? Yeah, just about. I think you might. I think you died turn nine or ten. So. Which is generally. 
a, a decent amount of time to go. Have fun killing it. I mean, I can't. So. I think I just need six mana here. Whoa! <laughs> He's not wrong. Mana drain is a good spell. It's not bad. Indeed. I find it yep. interesting that mana drain was once had a drawback where when there was mana burn in the in yeah. the format. Uh, I literally had an answer to anything else, but can't spell. Sure. Anything else? Uh, yes, I may have had a spell that uh, would pre have prevented it from dying, uh, like a oh. Alakir rebirth. Like literally a dying evil. Um, oh, okay. uh, Fair enough. Yeah, well, that's a dead turn. If ever I saw one. Woo! You're not gonna enact the bitter feud? He just countered your commander. Come on, fight! I may or may not have clicked through my combat. Oh yeah, the Vantress can now do its thing. <sighs> Yes, the Vantress can do its thing. It is big crab time. It is time for the big crab. The big crab is going to get destroyed if it comes my way. He is big and he is crab. Charix has entered the battle. I want to get destroyed. Let's see here. By one of my favorite cards printed in the last five years. Yeah, but Sheriff's costs two more to target. Doesn't target. Oh. You running anything to buff Cherix's, uh toughness? Who? Uh... I think there's a couple things. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. I like this. This is good. All right. Let's do a little bit of this. Oh, not dear. necessary. I think that's good for Not isn't shrouded it? enough. <laughs> Well, now... I uh, guess not. I mean, this is maybe... I need to use my mana, right? I could play the sword, but... Um... Play the sword, equip the sword. Attack Evancar. You wouldn't have attacked me. Six. But Hexpert... Well... It doesn't matter. Darkness. No! Good, fine, fine, fine choice. Wait, wait, hang on. How is Bitter Feud working here? It's, it's, not, it's not fine. To yeah, the they're, other they're, chosen they're, player. Okay, so yeah. not to me. Yeah. Okay. I don't get I one shot. This. <laughs> I am fine with this. Okay. I do want to know, who in the design team said 17? <laughs> Yeah, the, like, the numbers are always that? a little bit, a little yeah, bit funny. Is... They Maybe probably some... went. Um... Actually, you know what? I don't have. I have no clue. Probably have some magic calculator that said seventeen. No more, no less. <laughs> Man, I'd I'd really like Charix to not. The the, the very same calculator that said field of the dead. Let's go. Err, seems fine. Alright. So Tail, do you want to take six more from the crab or do you want to make a deal? Let's make <laughs> a deal, shall we? <laughs> Sounds good. What do you have to offer me? Um I have a removal spell for something else, I guess. Well, removal spells are not that great against my crab right now. 
for, yes, for but... a variety of reasons. Um, would you like to get rid of uh, Adjacent Sanctum? <laughs> How what? can you get rid of Adjacent Sanctum? What I would really like is maybe that removal oh, spell could go three, towards four. this 5-4 flyer that would deal me 10 if it hit me because of this I mean, Yeah, yeah, I think I can do that. I... The 5-4 okay, flyer great. can't attack you. Yet. The 5-4 flyer, I think, can hit me, right? Defending player has oh, no, it can. more. I'm at 8, yeah, oh. so the, the gargoyle could hit me. But... I can, in fact, take care of the gargoyle if you don't hit me a bunch more. <laughs> deal great i Good promise i won't with... attack you with the gargoyle the gargoyle is not there to attack i didn't attack last turn i think that should have making a point but okay the haze is paradoxical so far it hasn't been doing too much but play mana crypt i'm sure it's fine <laughs> Well, that's, not, that's definitely not in the budget. All right. Let's... Uh... Wait, do you have a budget? Uh, Two hundred dollars. Ah, okay. It was beautiful mansion in a budget deck. Hang on. I mean, my Wait. budget is five takes, but you would be amazed what you can do with five takes. Oh, yeah. I mean, I build infinite combo decks for modern with five ticks. The mana base is a bit scuffed, but if they work. All right. Okay, so turn Be off back. all the Back again. Mm -hmm. Let's see it happen. Big girl. Show me something big. Drum roll. All right. It's gonna hit all my tutors. Literally every single one of them. I feel like this. This is how we'll do it. Copy. Hmm. Eternal Dominion incoming? That's, yep. That's the plan. <laughs> I, I tried to, to be sneaky about it, but uh, no. <laughs> That's what, what the deck is about. Wait, can you cast yeah, cards of a... can you cast cards of Geneva afterwards? I mean, what do you mean? How if does Epic work? If she gets removed, Boot. then those are exiled forever. No, 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 that's not what I meant. Like, if you cast the Epic card. Oh no, no. Uh, you can't Geneva doesn't cast work anymore, any spells. She? Yeah, you okay. can't cast any spells afterwards. Yeah, no. It's a I believe one and you can still. Thing. I believe you can still play lands, yes. but you can't cast spells. Yeah, yeah. That, that's basically that's it. And the rest of the deck is is just doing Eternal Dominion things. All right. I mean, you're going to be getting like four things a turn. If if no, this resolves. Five. Why? Why that many? Um. Uh, the first one, then copied. Then he copies it in the oh, with farm. the farm so engine. Three. Well, no, yeah. Th no, then he's getting two on his upkeep, two on his second upkeep, and then he can copy one a turn with Lithiform. So five. These are all things. Oh, because he's copying the right. Yeah. Because any of the any of the first copies when he initially casts it will have epic. But the ones afterwards won't. You feel safe, don't you, Tomer? Not really. But you said it's something that doesn't target, so. Oh, I didn't even have to. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no. Hmm. Anyone have a counter spell for that? No. <laughs> no. I wanted to see it go off. Wait, do you have a counter spell timer? On Tomer. Counter spell. Counter spell. <laughs> no. Uh, and here's my favorite cycle. card. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay, well. Yikes. Yep. Not taking any chances. Take 
That's an oof. Pibble was ready for it. <laughs> Yikes! Bad insult to injury. Oh no, my swamp. Fuck, my mass manipulation. Guess I couldn't cast it anyway. Uh... Crap. Did you find a counter spell? No. Oh, could you have Lithothorm Engine the equip ability to counter the Resculpt? Yes, but the problem was that there was a Force of Despair that I did not have an answer to. That would have been cute, though. No way to retrieve it from Exile? No, that was it. My, my not deck has been countered. All right. <laughs> Quite literally. Yep. Uh... I have been a channel of Dominion once. It was not fun. Also, it was the one we one set up. Mm. Other pe other people died already. So the other guy played for Exit Tribal. Hello. It was a land. Thankfully, there's a Charix that will end this game immediately. Well, it's going to be difficult to deal with, for sure. Yeah, there was no playing around Force of Despair. Hey, look, he's back. <sighs> don't get why people don't play Force of Despair more often. I have been to Shiro, but it does have a steep requirement. You have to be in heavy black, and it's a two, you have to exile a card, usually. I mean, you don't. You can just cast it for three mana. It's not yeah. that much, isn't it? Yeah, it's not that bad. It's, it's, it's basically a black counter spell. No, I wouldn't say it's a black counter spell, but... Black, black it's counter very, target it's very creature. good at dealing with creatures, yes. You know what this game needs? A dash of monarchy. Oh, God. All right, what are you doing? Uh... Um. Oh. Yeah, that's a good card at the moment. Um. I mean, I'm keeping a promise. There you go. Did you really just kill my Ventress card? I mean, I did say I would, and I didn't get smacked for an extra six damage. I'm just keeping my part of the deal. Okay. Am I resolving anything this turn? Excellent. Nothing to resolve. Um, because I drew the one land that doesn't make mana. Yeah, Maze of it. Ooh, nice oh. art. Guess it's time. Party Jess! No, not if you're all going to blow up my things. There is a deal to be made here to draw your cards, but I do want something in return. For example, uh, there's a big giant raging crab that I do not want in my direction. Well, that crab has boots on, so I'm afraid that it's too stylish for me to target. It has layers of boots, it even has a cloak ready. That's not what I meant. The I meant crab, it's, it's very not in my way. An artifact which exiles from the library then shuffles. Well, so there's an easier way. Mirror Fate, yeah, it's terrible. Um, but there's Burning Wish from AFR, which you can ret you can get a card from exile that way. But I didn't go that deep. Maybe I should have. Oh fuck! Maybe it, yeah. it it takes you off my off my scent here. Would Wish actually get it? Burning Wish? The new one, yes. Would. Doesn't yeah. work in Commander. No, though it can get stuff from the Exile Zone, just not out of the game. 
And I drew a land that makes mana, but I can't play it. Yay! All right, nice turn. Okay, I've started snacking on my mini muffins again. I need to stop. I'd gladly take them. I have never bricked so hard with this deck. <laughs> Quite I think incredible. it might have something to do with the way that... Uh, also, you gotta attack, by the way. I don't want to. I don't want to get hit by giant crabs. Carter says no. <laughs> well, let's make him kill the guy. That did nothing. Boop. Couldn't have blocked it anyway, could I? Nope. I do believe you may be dead, though, if you have nothing to block it. I or, would not uh, be dead if I had literally one mana more, but I had to play my Maze of Earth before I activate the chase. I did one misplay after another in this game. Nothing to do with the boots. Well, and the cloak, I guess. I would have had another way to ensure that I wouldn't have gotten attacked, but... I would have had Blue Insurrection. Oh, uh, Reigns of Power. Yep. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. And that from the start. I also have a card that I will take out now because it has been nothing but useless every single game. I had Tempted by the Auric, which is a four mana spell that makes for each opponent gain control of up to one target creature planeswalker with CMC three or less. But it has never done anything. I have never cast it and have had it like in hand like five or six times now. Bye bye useless card. I mean, I guess it's good against uh, com like smaller commanders and stuff. But <laughs> I wish I had an opposition agent. This isn't a very Should aggressive listen. table. So much evasion. I mean, Ace is pretty aggressive. See, I have the best evasion. I make you not attack me. You evade damage all by itself. Yep, bye-bye. See, the only issue is... Um, I don't know how to deal with the crab. <laughs> that's the problem with Pillow Fort, isn't it? Like, that's what we saw last game, too. Somebody who had a ghostly prison. Yeah, but... I mean, the like... goal is to make... The goal is to make people, like, get each other down to, like, ten or so life, and then... I if you can keep me alive... If like, you can keep hmm. me alive, Ank is literally dead next turn. You got anything? I have a range of power. And yeah, there is no, a I'm, bit of I'm, you I'm, out there. Yeah. I have Which something, but I can't do anything about it. Because hexproof. Alright, bye-bye. Maze of Hoof doesn't work either. Nope. Ouch. Yep. Hexproof. Don't need to activate once. Does double damage. Why is it double? Oh, double damage from the Bitter Feud, right? Yep, Bitter Feud. Hey, at least Bitter Feud did something. Vote for somebody. Hang on. Uh... Ah, it's gonna be Tomer. I kind of shot his game plan. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Um, put this on the bottom and then shuffle. So you have to have backups, right? Hang on, let me. No. Let me look at your list. I have one, so bad one, for I have one game plan. I have one game plan. Um, you almost got it too. Yeah. If it was just if it was just a resculpt, I would have had it. Um, but I didn't play around Force of Despair, so I can kill. I can wipe the board, which I guess. Uh, Hang on. Let, let me turn the live stream. You could. Uh... You could let me kill Tail and take second. No. Um... 
No. <laughs> I think, okay, so this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. This is nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a certain card with overload. I know, I'm aware. Uh, I'm debating between whether I get Mizzix's Master or Deluge. Um, what would Deluge get? Deluge would oh, like copy thievery. Blade and Thievery three times. <laughs> Please do. Please. <laughs> but I'm thinking it, whether or not it's better to do it that way. Mizzix's Mastery, I think the way Increasing Vengeance works is if you cast it from the graveyard, with the Mystic Mastery. You are casting it from the graveyard, you're casting it from exile. What? Oh, it's you, from Mystic's exile. Mastery makes it cast from exile. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't yeah. work. So I can, copy, I can copy Blade and Thievery twice, or I can copy it three times. Um, Is there any significant upside to the Mastery? The Mastery allows me to is. ponder, Is It Charm, Mana Geyser. Um, yeah, but I think plans, it, but I don't this have point, in my the graveyard. Thievery is the better option. Like, just get his entire creature board and get the Jarix plus everything attached to it. I can't get... I can, yeah. So what, you can get the Thrift Boots first. Uh, uh, did you misclick? I, I guess. It's Hang on, let me. Quiet yeah, speculation. Quiet speculation. All right, well, game's done then. <laughs> uh, well. Cool. Yeah, you, yeah. I, I, I did a little resume five seconds. Yeah. Well, that would have been nice. If I can at least. Well, you can at least get the uh, cast cards for free card, right? I forgot what's its name. Uh, it's on your tail. It yeah. Sorry. You can at least get that one. Uh, ignite the future. I can wipe the board. It doesn't matter, though. Cool. Quiet speculation. How did I misclick? I don't even. Man. You hovered over the you over your deck and probably accidentally tapped your your left finger. Yeah. So one two. Get to the future, right? I mean. At least try to do something with that. Yeah, I mean, maybe... Remember, remember that your stuff is cheaper with Tracer Sanctum. Yeah. And you, can you copy the Ignite uh, in the future? Um, no, but I might be able to just hit something off the top that's relevant. I don't know. Either way. Like, it's that, or yeah, I could have I could have cast Immolating Gyre and copied it and uh, killed the Cherix. 16 damage, or... Easily. This is, this is actually close to that much Is Immolating Gyre a target? No, it's a board wrap. Uh, yeah. It's a board wrap that's X damage according to the number of instant in your graveyard. Mm -hmm. right. 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm just going to cast Ignite the Future and see what happens. And I'm going to copy it. And... Fair enough. Wait, I could... Hmm, maybe I missed Secret Retrieval. Mystic Retrieval, that would be yeah. two mana. Wait and Thievery? But that doesn't get you Charix. Yeah, it's not enough. Yeah, because the issue is there's a boots and the crab that you need to get. Yeah. Or at least grab. So let's hope you find the, the, the deluge. <laughs> I stopped this game plan and you killed me anyways. Let's find that. Can't can't copy. You can't? 
Uh, oh, those were horrible hits. You. All right. Well. Uh, you can at least that. cast the the return card, right? The re retrieval. I could. Or you can keep up the. Din Is it a? Yeah, it you can't matter. do both. Like I'm just dead on on the next turn. Doesn't matter. I mean, I can get. Yeah. Because he hits you for 12. I can give you an Acro and a horse to block the Thassa. I can't, he can't block. <laughs> no, he can't be blocked. Whisper Silk Cloak. Oh, right. Bah. I'll get it anyway, whatever. I mean, I've misclicked so many times. This game's, this game's super done. It's fine. It's also 5 o'clock, so it's like a, it's a good amount of time to, to call it. All right, yielding. Let's see what I get off the top. Always yields, always yields. I do feel bad for the forces this pan out. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's how it is, right? Like, that's that's the risk you play into Jalava. Woo! It's Charcoal diamond. <laughs> Would you put mindset well, I guess that's... Thrall, thrall in Alicia? I don't know what mindset thrall is. It's a thrall. How good can it be? I think discard it's like that you sacrifice when you deal combat damage and discard. Maybe I don't know. Discard three cards. I think that's right. What is unblockable? Harder. I mean, you do get one turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How about you? Oh. Oh, whoops. There goes my captain. Aha, uh -huh. you've activated my tragic slip. <laughs> oh no. All right, how morbid. <laughs> nice. wasn't, wasn't playing around that one. How tragic. So tragic indeed. That thing is back. Yes, I would like to use Conjurer Closet's ability. Huzzah. Oh, I 
here on this card. I, I replaced the the weird uh, Tempted by the Ori card with Confounding Conundrum. Oh. Denied. <laughs> Denied. On the way out. Well, I guess I'll draw a couple cards. It, it's like a card spell, but it doesn't make you feel bad. Yep. You Are you going to draw cards? Maybe. We'll yeah, see. draw cards off. I yeah. think so. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, it, it's instantly. Okay. No, no. For some reason, I thought the opponent drew cards uh, later as well. But not how that works. Midnight clocks all around. It's a good oh, card. I have to attack. I have to attack Homer. Unfortunately, not a cycle. Why couldn't they just you make that card white? Zero. Why, why could Midnight Clock not have been a white card? Because it draws cards. <laughs> yep. Makes sense. Wait. Are you not killing Tilmer? He can't. He could have if he didn't play the Midnight Clock. Oh, wait. No, no, I, I, well, I wouldn't have enough toughness. I wouldn't right. have enough toughness on the grab. So, I would have with the yeah. with the fire shrieker, but yeah. yeah. Or if he had another island, it would have been exact sleeves. Yes. Oh, this paradox is. What's midnight clock double triggering from? We have two midnight clocks. <laughs> oh, <on>. paradox is. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Doi. Man, you can really tell it's like eleven o'clock at night for me. <laughs> Same. Where are you? Uh, Netherlands, currently. Yeah, Germany for me. Well, if I survive, it's fine. Let's, let's do some mayhem. What do you have to work with? Oh. I think I have to take the profit. I mean, copy it, and you can take both the the boots and the Charix, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would save you. Mm -hmm. This is the plan. Hold control. Yep. Yeah. So I'm losing my Twilight Prophet, which is definitely going to give, which is definitely going to be good for you, especially with the double triggering. Hey, back in the game, back in the game. Ah, I'm at two, so I die to a stiff breeze, but... <laughs> Comeback starts here. Yeah. Back well, bolt. All my, hey, all my Twilight Prophet so. is reverse Bob, so... Copy targeted... Mm. If only I could copy the it spell. It drains. You can. That would be nice. I don't have an extra mana. Wait. Oh, increasing damage. Oh, yeah. With, with oh, the, that's so much better. God. Can you imagine just five blatant thieveries? Christ. I mean, I was close. Oh, no. If I had another mana, I would have copied Increasing Vengeance again. But it would have only copied it one more time. It wouldn't have copied it twice. I can't grab the Cherix, though. Uh, oh, do you, have to co do you have to target right now? Yeah, but what I can do is I can steal the car door and the Conjurer's Closet. And that will force. Yeah, uh, uh, what about the whisper silk cloak? Well, wait. Did you did you target the boots of the first blatant thievery? Yes. Oh. But it hasn't resolved yet. <laughs> and yeah, but you will just take control of your thing again. Waiting for Doctor Anime to change targets for blatant thievery. You made sure. Don't misclick. Take the cardo or the closet. Well, if I take both. Why not? Why not both? Yeah, take the but other one with the second one, of course. Well, there goes my board. There goes pretty much everyone's board. Yeah, now yeah, the card. Right? No, the Jarix will still be on his board. I couldn't take it. It didn't result. It was untargetable. 
Oh, do you have to declare do all remember, right away? Do remember? Do remember to equip yes. the boots to something else, please? Yes. Okay. Oh, you didn't take the. Oh, you did take the profit. It hasn't resolved yet. I mean, blinking card at end of turn basically deals with Charix, right? Yeah, that's the plan. Does um, it go back to Ogre or to you? No, to my control. Ah, nice. Let me mute myself real quick. That should do it. Well, that happened. Still alive for a turn cycle. Yeah. And I'm about to die to that Cherix. Well, Maybe. I can't I can't attack Homer, so Excellent. So first I'm gonna go fire diamond. Strong turn twelve play. Then I'm gonna go charcoal diamond. Excellent. <laughs> then I'm gonna put down these boots that I was too late to use. Strong play, I know. Cast a creature. Yeah, then I'm going to play a crow and horse. All right. Who wants it? Me. Hey, Elmer, if I give you the horse, will you not attack me with my stuff, please? I don't want the horse. <laughs> but what if I gave you the horse? I'll still attack you because I don't want the horse. But if I give the horse to him, will you attack him with the stuff? Maybe, probably. I don't know. Uh, good enough for me. Well, the horse doesn't do too much either way. The horse will die. Ank have a horse. No, uh, Ank is li uh, tail is literally dead this turn. Charix is exactly enough at the moment. That's if he wants to pump him. Please don't. <laughs> Alright. That's me. Well, my deck was doing cool things. And I guess it sort of still is, just on someone else's board. Mm -hmm. Well, here's my last monarchy card. Is it going to be... No, it's not another mana rock. Huzzah. I have a chump blocker. Yay. Hey, thanks, Insane. I really appreciate that. Uh, thanks for the great years of great content, Homer. I'm going to miss seeing you on the season of Kalash. Okay. Well, you'll see me next now week. Now I'm dead, I think. Because I'm popping in to replace Krim for viewers to a week. So there's that. Do you have a good deck for that already? It definitely dead now. Um, I haven't looked yet at the, at the list because they kind of told me about it a little bit late. So I think so everybody has chosen it, except yeah. for me. So. Oh, definitely right. dead now. Only got yeah. only got one option. Equip and then, uh, yeah, exactly. Equip and then activate twice. If you don't save me, the twilight. If you don't save me, my Carter goes away. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead too. 
Uh, that's relative. Well, I lose Twilight Prophet, Caridor, and in the Conjurer's Closet. I mean, yeah, but that you're means definitely sure not dead. Me. You have an answer in hand and a tutor. And the answer doesn't kill Cherix, who's too big. Answer Cherix, answer Cherix, answer Cherix. But I have, have, I, have, I have a play. I have one play that might be useful. Do we... Well, no, I'm dead. Vote for Pomer. You can also just steal it. How do I steal it? I have to still cast it. Well, oh yeah, Mizzix's Mastery is going to work. I mean, you could just, you know... Equip that swift foot boots <laughs> to the soldier token you've got. Yeah. Well, the problem is I can't steal Cherix again with Blade and Thievery because they're swift foot boots. This is just another yeah, layer. Yeah, you are, you control yeah. those swift foot boots. Oh. You what? can equip it to your soldier. Oh, I forgot yeah, I stole they're, already. They're yours. Oh, they're okay, yours. Cool. Yeah. They're yours now. So I can See, steal I... the Cherix. Okay. See, you're welcome. I gave you a soldier. All right. Well, that makes okay. that makes things better. Uh, if you win the game with that soldier, I will consider it a moral victory. I mean, I'll try. Uh, first, let's see if, if this game plan works. Wait, how are you able to draw it? That's a big I got it. Question. I got it. Yeah. You'll see. I'm going to Dang, two play more turns Scheming and Symmetry, choose target, two target players. Chase the same thing, continues yeah. to do nothing. Ah, oh, Chris's charm would have been sweet. Oh, do you have a flashback card draw in your graveyard? Hmm. We're going to grab... Where is Mystic's Mastery? Oh, we could do mnemonic deluge. That's what I really want to do. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do the deluge. I believe that's what I wanted. Yes, sir. All right, grab that. Then Blatant Fever thrice, right? Yeah. But remember, remember if you want but to do that, you need to pay one to re equip the boots first. Make yeah. sure you have enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do get the boots, please. <laughs> I mean, I yeah. But the the boots won't prevent me from targeting Cherix this time. Not also, one keep in mind that he may have card. Do you have to put it on the soldier? <laughs> Why do I have to put it on the soldier? Because it's still equipped to Cherix. It's oh. just that you can. It's just that you control it, I so you can you put it on something else. Right. Yeah, so I'll but it is still one. affecting his card. I got you. All right, step two. We move the the boots over to the soldier. Yep. Yep. Step three. We hope that this resolves. That was a good step. If you have instant speed card draw, you might be in trouble. Yeah. Oh! Of yep. course! Jaleva lets me cast. Oh, it actually gets rid of his top, too. Yes. Giving yep. symmetry is so good with Jaleva. That's, that's why I don't want to say anything yeah, when I you're like asking. That. I like that. That's nice. Nice. All right. So there's negate. What did you choose it for? Oh, okay. uh, well, there's a bunch of spells. It's like yeah, rift. A bunch of spells. Yeah. Um, we're going to equip the boots and Jaleva. Yep. That's a really powerful Jaleva. Yep. Holy shit! <laughs> and this is gonna let me cast. The Deluge. I'm going to keep the, the soldier back for now. Safety soldier. Just in case. I mean, I don't know. 
This thievery think, is blatant. I think the right choice is Charix to lands, right? Just slowly stacks him to death. Yeah, that works. Cast an instant or sorcery without paying its mana cost. Uh, they lose. Uh, blatant thievery yet again. Unless there's something better. No. Blatant I must thievery. say, this is basically what your deck was Blatant trying to do. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Except not as it's cool. On, it's on theme. I respect it. So, unfortunately, I can't copy uh, the Deluge with Alith the Form Engine. Somebody in chat said um, that. Well, it will, because the first oh, one will yeah. exile it. But what I can do is... you can is, copy a Blatant Thievery. Yeah, when I, cop I can copy the Blatant Thievery once I make a copy of it. Yeah, so, you can, so you can steal the training grounds, two lands, and the Jarix. Yeah. Oh god, yikes. Well, I want the sword as well. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> oh god. So we're going to take the Jarix. <laughs> Cost one more. We'll pay the one. Yeah, I think I'll definitely change from, from Xanathar to Yedeva. Seems she's way better. We're going to take the sword. And... Yeah, I mean, I'll just take the the Mind Stone, actually. It does draw a card. Yeah. The comeback is real, though. Blade and Thievery is a good card. And now we can copy one of the Blade and Thieveries with the Luthiform Engine. And continue to say no to these... <laughs> Basically, take every non non permanent that he has. Silly, silly sanctums. All right, we copy this. Get the crab, the sword, the training guns, I guess. I'm just going to take a, an island. I don't think he's, his training grounds does anything without the Jerex. Unless he has a psionic blast, I think he might actually win this game. Yeah. It's looking pretty close. Yeah. Uh, all right. First things first. Uh oh. You Why? Get my crab. Oh. Crab is a, crab is a suicide option. Oh. Not in the oh crab right, out. right. Crab has a kill switch. <laughs> Sometimes you have to turn off the that's, crab. That's smart. All right. That's good. I like that. Suicide crab. Then probably a million counter spells, right? Kaboom. Yes, please. Yoink, yoink, yoink. The rest of it I have nothing to say about. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I think not. But. So the game will take a while. Can't do anything without the crab, so. I don't think it will take a long time. the fact that the token. You have to speed it up. Oh, I can't believe Oh, right. The anymore. monarchy is still here. Yeah. Okay. And luckily, you still have a card. Gate and not one of my other counter spells. Any thoughts on the latest game nights? I don't think I watched the latest game nights. Was that the one with Post Malone? Posty? Or is it a new one? Well, what else is on the list? Geneva. There is a negate. There is a reality shift. Siphon mind. Okay. New one with the AF artex. I didn't watch it. No. Is it good? Did anybody watch the game nights episode of AF artex? Came out this no week. Clue. It's on AFR though. AFR is so like three weeks ago. Mm. Oh, Joey. I don't know how to say his name, but isn't he in, like a uh, critical role guy? All right, Rogue's Passage is actually scary at this point. Yeah, the trouble is you've got so much to move your Jaleva. 
Just be glad there's no haste. Yeah, haste would be really bad. That's, uh, that's what I got. <coughs> I don't know if I have any other ways to give things haste in here. Do I? This paradox is will forever taunt me. One more turn and the midnight clock goes <laughs> off. Um... Oh, yeah, okay. That'll do it. Just saying, but if you don't want to lose whatever you're getting to midnight clock, you might want to get out of your hand. Yeah, I'm just going to cast it now. Oh, the crab is too famous. <laughs> Suffering from success. Uh... Crab too big. It's crab cakes now. Yep. Delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you have a sword. That that's oh wow. I forgot to attack with it, but whatever, it's fine. I didn't want that sword anyway. Dang. Emergency soldier holding up the fort. Oh, I could have freaking whatever. You know what I'll do? I will just. I will just. Uh... Cross the siphon mind, right? Yeah, then copy it. <laughs> but why? I mean, I've got two cards again. Seems like a good play. You know Just to drive home the misery. <laughs> Put it on top. Uh, yeah. Move the. the blade Just for the sword. <laughs> if I use the sword, it would have actually worked too. But whatever this works too. Yeah. Uh, that's, uh, don't copy. Don't copy. Don't copy. What? Don't copy. You're going to lose the card to the uh, midnight clock if you copy. No, it's get Don't shuffled. copy. Get yes, shuffled. but your graveyard gets shuffled too. Eh. So the card is useless. Eh. <laughs> seems okay. I mean, yeah. I'm handless now. It seems like there's, a, there's good nothing play. really left in my graveyard that I care about, though. Alright. Yeah, there's not much in there. This is this is the castles. Oh. Oh, it's the cleric attackers. Well, I gotta get Mizzix's mastery and get what? Mm -hmm. Ponders. Is it charm? Mm -hmm. Meh. Just for some some extra clock. Oh, that's target creature. Is it? Yeah. I never play yeah, I never play Z, I don't know that. Uh, I mean, there isn't no mystical suit that won't do anything either. Meh. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I feel like I'm just dead to the sword now. Yeah, the sword will just poke away. You have to recast Sherex a bunch of times, and I have to find removal for it, essentially. You have removal. Actually, I can just field. Cyclonic Rift it one time yeah, and got, make you discard it. Reality Shift is an option, too. Back. Yep. I found a mystical tutor to kill it again. Yikes. Okay. Oh, boy. The oh, that's still way found. All right, let's take a look and see what we've got. Is there anything left in here? Can do anything. My creatures are all terrible. Um, Jingitexius. I, I have a burnished heart. I could hit you with <laughs> that. That's why, that's why I have to keep a blocker up. I have to respect the burnished heart. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly what the game plan is, but 
I'm excited to find out how this one ends. I don't have any more win conditions in my deck, so I'm, the game plan is kill you with a sword and a yeah. Jaleva. Yeah, you've got a you've got a four power flyer in a second here. The, there's no other blade and thievery version in my deck either. That was it. Okay. There we go. You guys have anything in your deck that you didn't get to show off? I mean, other than yes. the obvious, didn't get to epic spell. Yes. Ah, yes. This is gonna be a good time to uh, go over. Wrap it up. Over that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, let's... Mm, I, mm, I, I basically didn't get to steal anything. Anything important that is. I mean, I did get to steal a soaring twice, but it's I basically soaring was plenty important, actually. <laughs> a deck's worth of uh, of annoying studio stuff. My favorite card is Soul Collector. Anybody know it? Uh, uh, hmm. Can I post a picture? That's, a, yeah. that's an old one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I know of it, but I, I can't tell you what it does it's from memory. The, uh, it's got the risque art, right? Exactly. <laughs> yes, that, that's what I remember Soul Collector. Hang on, here it is. <laughs> I played for multiple reasons. <laughs> All right, this should do it. All right. Yeah, that's I'm, a lot of damage. I'm actually going to go full aggro, actually, to really speed up this clock. <laughs> no yes, respect. the soldier's no getting response. in. No I, think, I think you've got everything that gives haste in my deck. <laughs> you've already you've already stolen it. So I don't want to. I don't wanna even cast anything here. Cast the gate. I dare you. No, no, no. Uh, cast a reality shift on your own soldier. <laughs> oh, that would actually speed up the clock a bit. It would. No, not my last contribution to the game. <laughs> <laughs> High value yeah, Mystic Sanctuary. And yeah. So you guys got to see the whole cart Carter loop it a bunch of times every turn thing. It's very it's nice. one of the main it's a, it's Yeah, a I know, right? I like Carter. It's a fun deck. Yeah, it's fun. Um so uh, I also had a few other things in here. Like I've got Death Pits of Wrath and oh, scribbling yeah. rot <laughs> along with stuff like circle of flame pyrohemia a sark in the masterless well, so it's one like of my, one of my favorite things to ever do in decks like that i don't know if you know the card is fire ends and death touch rifling equipment Got a crab uh, sword. <laughs> fire ends is a three mana creature that you can tap to deal one damage to every creature every other creature Oh, nice. so, so it's it's a repeatable board web of Death Touch and Life Link. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, nine twenty. You're gonna have to start including that. Go. Oh, I re I remember seeing this before. Dang, that is some. Yeah, I remember seeing this. It's cool it's card. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the Return Scotland? That's not an answer. No, he's quitting. Uh, he's going to copy it. So I've got about a few things. Makes sense. Copy it and copy it again. Can I copy it again? Oh, I can copy it again. Yeah, I can. <laughs> yes. The I need to reverse it. My card seems it's weird. Why not just run in Soul. Uh, what's the card? Soul Flare? The one from Sandica Rising where each opponent sacrifices the creature of the highest CMC. It's three mana and instant. Because it's uh, it's a split card. It's also I mean, a two mana I mean, you have to, surveil dude. You have to oh, okay. All of your all your permanents. I'll uh, I'll pick them up. <laughs> uh, turn to pick them up, up, up. And discard the card. Uh, yes, put it back. Okay, fair. Yeah, we're still going. <laughs> Yeah, dispersal is <laughs> still really still good. In games exactly. like this. You're still making me discard my board. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have to be really thorough about it. 
Unfortunately, Absolutely. I can't take your lands anymore. The power, the power of spite is strong with this one. Oh yeah, this is, <laughs> so you really like you really like drawing all those cards last game, huh, Ank? <laughs> I did. The I spite did. kill is <laughs> real. Those cards. I, I I I thank you for avenging my my death. I tried. And mine. I'm contributing in a way. Full send. <laughs> Cast reality shift. Um. He's not dead this turn anyway. Cast reality shift. He's dead next turn. No. But then I. Mm. I mean, he's dead next turn anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to it just in oh, case. Yeah. yeah, just in case. For the it's six damage, six okay. damage. He's at eleven. For, for the hasty blue creature that he's gonna top deck. What do you have left in hand? Is he able to resolve anything? And the answer to that is no. Um. No, it should be over at this point. Yeah, no, the music's mastery for the for the, for the five mana card. Yeah, yeah music's is mastery for the special. <laughs> yes. Excellent. It's I a drop in previous form, but all of your things have shroud, so I can't even cast it on there. <laughs> nice. All right, your go. <laughs> yes. Can't even a rogue's passage something as a. I as can't. a final send off, I have no legal targets for anything on my side of the board. This is exactly Complete how my deck is domination. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Eternal what? I don't even know what that is. Just like you drew it up. Yep. I'm going to point out that you having that 1 1 soldier to equip the boots to is what won you the game. Yeah, this, You're welcome. You, you wanted it's the killing true. blow, right? You wanted it to get yes. the killing blow, and I mean, it, it literally is right now. I have attained the moral victory. Yeah. Huzzah. You have been avenged. All right, well. Um, GG. Well, that was fun, Jeez. everybody. Uh, GG. Hey. Longer stream. Thanks, everybody, who came all the way to the end. And also, major thanks for everybody who stuck with me to play the game with me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> thanks, Dale. Thanks, A. Thanks, Evan Carr. Uh, yeah, also, thank are. you to Joffrey, who, who joined us for game one as well, too, if you're, if you're watching this right now. Um, this deck was not supposed to play this way, but uh, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will take that as, as a moral victory. That, that happens. That happens a lot, though. Uh, like I have seen this phenomenon with my Zenithar deck as well. In late game, especially in two v two situation, uh, in one v one situations, it's always a stack's end. Oh yeah. Because when you're running out of stuff to stuff to steal from people, it gets really awkward. Um, it, I, ju I just end up stealing lands all the time. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, which, not, which... I'm not sold on Eternal Dominion either. Uh, I think it was good. It has the potential to be good, but clearly you can see how many uh, points it can go wrong. Um, Did it so... resolve it the first game? No. The nope. first game it didn't resolve. It was so bad the first game. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe I, maybe just like a more generic sealer stuff without Eternal Dominion would be better. Or an Eternal Dominion that isn't built, built around Eternal Dominion would be better. But or I mean, yeah, it would, it would be size. better, but it wouldn't be as funny. Yeah, I was really hoping that maybe it would be funny if I got like four copies going every single turn, and then you copy more of them with Paradox uh, Haze in the other form engine. Pulling it off yeah, would be really it. sweet. It's just very, it is difficult to do so. And then to win the game off that too is also difficult because you have to be up against. Yeah, I, ha I, have a, stuff from. I have an anecdote on that one. I got. Uh... Eternal Dominion once uh, by a guy that had, I think, three of them. But he also had a magic mirror. A magic mirror? Oh, so he can't die? No, the magic mirror is a card from Throne of Eldraine. It's, oh, it's the blue cards. one from the artifact cycle. Yeah. Exactly. It, it, you draw a card more per turn. Yeah. So the problem was, I, I played the Mono Black Phyrexia deck, and I just had. Like I have a shield red, and that's about it in terms of good creatures. The rest yeah. of them are all Phyrexian creatures. Yeah. yeah. So so what happened was he he, he got some weird Phyrexian creature every turn, 
that I would make him sacrifice it with my attrition or with my grave pact. Did he deck himself out? Yes. <laughs> oh dear. You would only play it in multiplayer, and then even so, it would be a little bit weird. Um, but anyway, uh, that was a long stream. Thanks, everybody, for, for joining. Uh, we're going to wrap it up here, because I'm going to grab some dinner and whatnot and, and get ready for some other stuff. Um, but yeah, yep, yep. Uh, thanks, everybody, for joining. Uh, we'll be back for Sunday stream, Backseat Brew. Uh, brew something else to build or in play for the next week uh, Wednesday stream. So be sure to like, follow, subscribe, all those all those good things that you might have forgotten to do, but help out a lot. Um, and yeah, uh, until next time, friends. See you.